some things to talk about. Is that uh, is that the RTP guy? It is. I have some things to talk about before we get started on the show. Um, uh, political mom sent me a picture this morning uh, from I don't know who this person is. Uh, Ruck Uncle Ruckus. I'm not sure who that is, but you guys probably know Uncle Ruckus because you spend uh, more time in uh, perusing and and I'm also blocked from like. 70 percent of the uh conservative lives there's a couple moderators who uh when i first got started they would block me on site so there's a lot of conservative places where i'm blocked anyways um whoever he whoever that is uh put up a uh post that said rtp is scared to debate lens unless it's on his terms so conservative lynn is who they're talking about yesterday i was in a live i don't remember whose and i was just uh, hanging out in the comments because i couldn't go live and i was like you know what I, like i'm having a hard time a lumberjack runner 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 will not debate uh not happening uh, elder millennial absolute coward will not debate uh running and then ike uh wingate no response from ike wingate I, i'm telling you this the most conservatives, a, a conservative with a significant following, the reason none of them debate is one of two reasons. There are some people that I think they're actually just dumb, and they so they, it's hard to debate. They're like it's not for them. And the other ones that are smart enough, like Ike Wingate, they know they can't win a debate. They know that in a debate scenario, everything they say is is not – uh is not going to look good on camera like when it's picked apart when you don't allow somebody to narrativize a, a whole uh, a whole five page uh, outline on on their story of why conservatism is working it doesn't work very well but i will say this conservative lynn uh i asked i was i just said to i said to phoenix i said to conservative lynn and i don't remember who the other one maybe moon goon i think it was moon goon i asked all of them i was like why don't you guys want to debate and lynn said, lynn told me she's like i won't debate you in your space i would i would never do that first of all like how fair was our space how fair were we to mod like gave her the gave her the moderator gave her all the topics it, it was fair but look i get it they they then spent like two weeks talking about how unfair everything was so far so i told Lindsay, i was like i will debate you anywhere you just don't get a mute button you just can't take you just can't mute me and i think that's fair i think it's completely fair to say if you're going to debate you can't mute so obviously i'm not going to go in with mod where i'm going to get uh, muted so i put out a video today hopefully you guys can help me out with lens the, the ball's in her court now i'm willing to debate anywhere anytime any place uh, if she wants to pick the topics, that's fine. If she wants to pick the platform, that's fine. But they don't get a mute button. That's the only rule. That's it. Do you, is that fair? I feel like that's fair. Like, I don't even think conservatives, even the people who despise me the most, I think even those people would say it was fair. Uh, I see Surge Tech AZ. Are you opposition? Uh, if you are, let me know in the comments and we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and bring you up. I, I think that's fair. But anyways, uh, now that that's out there. I went to Lynn and challenged her and nobody DM'd me. Nobody asked me if I would debate. They just were like, Hey, uh, they, they're just like, Hey, we're going to, uh, we're going to put out this, this campaign that I'm afraid to debate Lynn's. So I just want to make sure, you know, I'm not afraid. I'm begging people to debate every day. Like we beg for people to debate and they won't show up. Uh, I got Colombian and surge tech AZ or either of you guys opposition. Look, we'll, no, we'll do it. We'll live stream it. Um, no matter where I go, we can live stream it to YouTube. It doesn't have to be on my platform to live stream it to YouTube's, YouTube. So it's going to be on YouTube anyways. Yeah, good. good yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, and I want to be clear on a couple of things just to just to clear that up. Uh, we, we my mods got accused of muting people and they didn't. They muted salt shakers. Uh, Somewhere along the line, mods friends decided there's, I've seen the message, by the way, I've, I, I think it was a discord message. Somebody screenshot it and sent it to me. I saw the message. They're like, every time RTP talks, fill the comments with salt shakers. Well, and if you could watch that replay, I said, Hey, look, we can't spam comments. Your comments are not more important than anybody else's. Don't spam comments or you'll get muted. So all that got muted was the actual salt shaker. There were two bots that got blocked that were like, look at my bio for schmooze. And uh, they got blocked. And then one person, one person who was using isms. That's it. That's all that got blocked. 
Uh, I still don't see Surge Tech. Are you? Utah isn't real. It might not be real. <laughs> James. <laughs> James, like, it's, you can do the salt shaker now. I don't even understand what the salt shaker was for, to be honest. Yeah. So, anyways, conservative. I, let me give conservative Lynn some credit. She's she's talking about debating. Okay. Most of the people that are on the right are terrified to debate. None of them will do it. All right. What's up? All right. I don't, yeah, I don't know what this. I don't know what. The, I hate the phrase when people will tell you, when the MAGA tell you, if you don't support Donald Trump or if you're not a MAGA, you're not a patriot, right? <laughs> yeah. I, it's. I feel like they're Stupid. not. It's ridiculous, dude. I feel like by them saying that, it makes them not a patriot at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a. Remember? That's such a weird thing to say. It's yeah, yeah. And then laughing, I don't think they know what a patriot is. Yeah, dude, exactly. I told them to define yeah. a patriot. I told them, and they're like, oh. <laughs> and I was like, define what? What do you think a patriot? Define it. And they're like, you know. And then they change the topic. I mean, I'm like, come on, man. Like, we're Americans <laughs> about freedom. People coming from all around the world. It's 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 crazy. But lo last thing is, uh, this is my biggest pet peeve, is I I am sick and tired of these MAGA Republicans politicizing this young innocent girl's name. You know, Lincoln Riley. It mm -hmm. is insane, man. It drives me insane. I have I have a family member who was actually uh, unalive by a uh, 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 just an American citizen. You know, I don't want to tell you the race, but just an American citizen. And no one cared about that. No one cares about yeah. the, of the thousands of women who die every single day by men or women in American in America by American citizens. They don't care about that. But when when one undocumented person comes and kills that, which I mean, I believe he should get go to jail and be deported, of course, because he's you know, we don't support that. But um I, I, it's it's ridiculous. Even the family of Lake and Riley is saying to, um, to Mega, shut the fuck up already. You know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. I remember there was a, um, who was it? Ben, Shapiro? it was Ben Shapiro accused. Uh, maybe it was Ben. Anyways, I, I don't want to get the story mixed up, but yeah, I, it's tiresome to watch them stand on the grave of like a young girl to, to spread their hatred. Right. Like most of the people that are coming uh, here to the border, like are being sent back. There's a, I think it's like 96 percent. But like we have we have a desperate need for, for immigrants in the country. We know that immigrants uh, commit crimes at a much lower rate than like white What's American the... like born citizens. So it, it's a it the reason they use names, the reason they use stories uh, and the re is because they want emotion. Right. They, they want you to emotionally react. And if you emotionally react, you're not worried about the data, right? They can use the like, oh, well, one is too many. One is too many, so everybody needs to not be here. Like statistically, they're not willing to look at it in a way that, that makes any sense. Like statistically speaking, the more immigrants we have, the safer our country will be, right? If, if, if immigrants commit crime at a lower rate. You, do you live in Arizona too? So, yeah, so that's the thing, man. I live in yeah. Arizona. I live in a, in a border state, and it's – I don't see any – dude, the crime here is not – as bad as they say the the border Bro, my house has been open. broken to twice and both times by a white dude <laughs> like, yeah and, and one, of, one of his one of the times like his mom lived in my neighborhood like, i yeah it, it's just it hasn't been a problem it's not what people think even if you go down are you in maricopa county i am in maricopa county okay yep. so me too but, but you probably know people in tucson it's not like down in tucson and in green valley like that they're being overrun it's not like if you go down to any of our border towns that they're being overrun with crime. It's just not happening. It's not a real thing. It's not happening at all. And, and what you'll hear people at the border town, Republicans, they'll be like, yeah, I live in the border town and, and I see people walking over the border all the time. Well, even if that was true, like where's like, who's being hurt there? It's, it's not like we're, we're being overrun with crime. And you know, in Arizona, we have jobs that we need filled specifically down in like Tucson and in uh, uh, Yuma. We have jobs that need to be filled that we can't fill. We desperately need workers. It definitely, man. And it's great for the economy, man. It's great for it. And not to mention, they pay a lot of these people come over here, they pay taxes. They don't get any kind of benefits from it whatsoever. The ones that benefit from the taxes they pay are American citizens. The MAGA right. supporters get benefited from that stuff. And it's crazy, man. And we need to stop demonizing these people. We need to tell Donald Trump to let the legislators legislate. Stop getting involved in 
in, in, in Congress, man. It's ridiculous. It's sickening, man. We, if he was such a patriot like they say he is, he would care about his country. And if he wanted the border to be closed, if it was even open, which is not, then tell him to pass the border bill. We offered him two different <laughs> things. We offered them, we offered them a single, a standalone bill after they said no. We won't, we won't vote for the first one, and they still said no. Like what's good? You can't have your what do you call it? You can't have in and, and your um. How do you know? How do you know? How do, what's that phrase? You can't have your. Uh, like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Exactly, bro. Yeah. Like it, 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 it's insane, man. It's insane. And yeah, like you said, I live in Arizona, man. Crime is not at a crime is not high, border is not open. You know what I mean? We don't. It's not. A, it's not an invasion. It's none of that, bro. It's ridiculous, man. And the people who are saying this stuff are people that live in like Ohio, Michigan. Yeah. Well, it's interesting like, that in Arizona, the stuff that actually is like concerning to to everyday uh, Arizonans is like the the price of housing, right? We like nobody can afford housing. You know, you can't buy. You can't get a studio apartment for in Maricopa County for under twelve hundred bucks. Like a studio apartment, not even a one bedroom. Like the the yeah. cost of living here is skyrocketing due to corporations buying up thirty percent of our houses, uh, and and yet you have Republicans in Arizona who are living paycheck to paycheck. They're like, it's the immigrants' fault. It's like it's happening right under your nose. We see what's happening. The GOP in Arizona is bankrupt. the The state is doing virtually nothing but running like case after case after case for Carrie Lake to lose. She lost again yesterday, by the way. And and Arizonans are like, it's the border, or GOP Arizonans. It's the border. It's it's silly. Yeah, you're right. We know what the problems are. But you know what the good thing is? Is that, like, we actually have data. We have facts on our side. And we have momentum. And all we have to do is vote and make sure that our friends vote, unless they're MAGA friends, in which case maybe just uh, just tell them that voting will – you have to get the COVID shot to vote, and then they'll, they'll vote. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them. <laughs> but yeah man it's it's ridiculous man it's just it's it's this country is just so decisive divisive and it's it, it's it's not what it used to be man and um i don't know man it, i don't know what we're i don't know what's gonna happen man i feel like like it's it's gonna be like i know if donald trump loses i feel like people are gonna you know protest and do a, yeah. deny the election again and do all that stuff and it, it's it's I don't know, man. People are, it's crazy. But again, crime is not up. I live perfectly fine. I do leave my doors open a lot of the times. Like people say, yeah. oh, do you leave your doors open? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And nothing happens. I don't anymore because I had, like I said, I had those two dudes try and break into my house. But, and I'm in like a, in a pretty nice area. So it's, it's not a place you would expect that there would be crime. But again, yeah, I agree with you, man. Main thing though, just get out and vote. Get your friends to vote. And uh, I followed you. So let's keep in touch. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for Hi, having me on, man. And I appreciate you doing this. So, uh, thank you. Very appreciate it. Yep. We'll see it. Ah, oh, that was kind of that was kind of a nice little like that was kind of a nice good morning. Good morning to everybody. Thanks for being here. Make sure we're still hitting that like button. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what the what the hell happened in the Discord yesterday, but I I came in and they were talking about <laughs> clickers and liquors. And if you want to know about that, you can go to the Discord and figure it out. But I I think there's some people. Who, uh, clicking and licking in here and I, I appreciate that even though you're all fucking weird and why is why is this uh bot facts still matter still in here i don't understand how that psyop is still in existence coming in here claiming that the beehive state the great state of utah uh that was founded by brigham young and his 70 wives how dare you how dare you besmirch the great name of of utah you bot you absolute bot uh, I look, I'm not, I, I see it wasn't me. I'm not doing friendlies right now. I may later, but I want to get back to the, I want to get back to some new stuff. I also want to say this. I don't know if Felice is in here. If she is, she's watching from like an alternate account, but, uh, Felice still taking some time off. Uh, and, and she cannot, she cannot help, but send stories. So some of this stuff, we can thank Felice for some of the stuff on the outline today. Uh, she just can't quit. She can't quit. She sent me a picture yesterday of her taking a walk, and uh, she was talking about how you know how she's feeling a lot better. By the way, she's uh, she, all the love that you guys have sent to her. I promise you, she appreciates it more than you know. Um, she's feeling really good. It's, sometimes you just got to take some time off. And frankly, uh, going forward, I will probably be a little more aggressive in asking her to take time off. Uh, this is not 
always a fun place to be as a woman, uh, especially uh, a woman uh, who has the LGBTQ flag in her uh, in her bio. It's not always a great place. And so I, I highly recommend anybody who is not finding solace on, on TikTok and find yourself feeling bad. Take some time off. Go take a walk. Uh, and those of us with privilege, we'll stick, we'll stick around, uh, cause it's not that hard for us. And yeah. And a POC, you're right about that. Thank you, Sarah Michelle. Anyways, uh, just a shout out Felice. If you're in here on one of your alt accounts, uh, we'll, we'll see how, we'll see how it goes. Um, any announcements? Do I need, do I need to make any announcements? We covered the conservative Lynn thing. If you guys run into conservative Lynn, please be nice to her. I, I will say this again. I'll say this about mod. I'll say it about conservative Lynn and I'll say it about SK. The, those three people are willing to debate. SK and Mod have both come to my platform and debated. So whatever you think about their politics, whatever you think about uh, how good they are at debating, at least they, unlike the rest of that panel, all those big tough men, uh, at least they have the courage to step out and debate one on one. So I just want to I want to point that out. I have no I have no issue with any of them, honestly. I um I would like to have good relationships with them so we can have spirited debates. I think we do. Um, and, uh, I look forward to hopefully, uh, scheduling something with conservative Lynn in the, in the near future. All right. So I am going to pick up, uh, where I left off yesterday. Um, but I've, I've got some other stories to cover before I like uh, your two decide they're in here. They're in here guys. They're in here. Hey, mod group. Welcome. It's good to have you here. You're welcome in the box every time too. Uh, this box is open. You can stop me at any time. Uh, Miguel, you can come up and have a debate. And, and any one of you, any one of you are welcome. This box is open. You don't have to sit down there in the comments. You can come up. We can have a discussion. And by the way, nobody believes you when you're like, I'm not coming up there because you just over talk and mute. No, 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 no. Nobody believes you. Everybody knows that the reason you don't come up and debate is cowardice. How many times have you seen me in mods live? 20 getting muted going 5v1 getting getting muted that's what you see me do that every day every time i'm in there i'm getting muted and i still show up i'm not afraid to go there but you guys are afraid to go there uh, you are afraid to get in the box uh miguel it's called cowardice but uh welcome to the box anytime you'd like to um speaking of cowards speaking of uh, giant uh cowards who get their fifis hurt I, as I was preparing this morning, actually I was done. Uh, I noticed on the old uh, Twitter machine that there was somebody named Steven Crowder who was trending. Uh, what, did somebody come up there real quick? Uh, Steven Crowder trending this morning. Uh, if you're in the box, just uh, let Jen know if you're opposition, by the way, I can't, I can't watch both. Steven Crowder for any of you guys that don't remember, there was a, a leaked video not that long ago. And if you don't know who Steven Crowder is, one, congratulations. Uh, but two, just to, to catch up, he's just a right, he's a right wing uh, commentator. For some reason, he wears <laughs> these shoulder holsters while he does his live. Like he just has to remind you that like he has weapons. I don't, I don't understand it. He's a, he's a transphobe. He's a homophobe uh he's uh it, he's uh it, it, not not a fan of immigrants he's everything you you would expect a white nationalist pretending not to be a white nationalist to be uh but he's trending today because people like tim pool and pearl the pick me i can't remember her last name uh pearl davis uh are out running cover for him pearl davis said this morning uh crowder case updates hillary crowder his uh, estranged wife uh, they're going through and he's Canadian that's right uh, they're going through a divorce she's receiving $25,000 a month in uh, child support I don't know if that would be child support or if that would be spousal support but while they are separated she's getting $25,000 a month uh, I don't know if if conservatives like remember yesterday we were talking about some of these conservatives and we'll get back to it but trying to end no-fault divorce you guys remember that? And, uh, and a lot of people are like, why would you want to end no-fault divorce? This is why. This is why you want to end no-fault uh, no divorce, because you don't want to pay. And you don't believe women, you don't believe a mother is entitled to the money earned by the husband or the father. But unfortunately in this country, 
because of the patriarchy and because women weren't allowed to work for so long, we set the rules up that the breadwinner is it uh, has to pay half. If, if a divorce happens, the breadwinner, not the man, the breadwinner. It just so happens that generally speaking in this country for the most of our history, the breadwinner has been the man. Remember that Steven Crowder makes millions of dollars. Millions. I think what's 25K a month? Is that uh, two times what? Is that like 30 something thousand? Or I mean 300,000? Something like that. Is that right? Did I do that math right? Somewhere around 300,000. Yeah. That, that's what we're talking about. 300,000 for a guy who makes millions with an S at the end, millions a year. This is not half. Uh, Steven Crowder has been covering her legal fees also. Yeah, good. Good. He should be covering her legal fees, which I think uh, I read has been about 25,000. Uh, Hillary, his wife, reached out to Steven's friends and coworkers in an attempt to, I don't know, she cut it off, in an attempt to, but yeah, this is, they're having a, a custody case and they're having a divorce hearing. So naturally you would have witnesses. Uh, I, I noticed that Republicans had no problem whatsoever uh, when uh, they reached out to Nathan Wade's ex-wife and divorce attorney. I noticed nobody cared about that. They really, really liked when Nathan's way, Nathan Wade's divorce was public, when they, uh, to, in order to smear Fonnie Willis, they went into everybody else's personal life. They dug through her personal life. They talked about vacations she went on with her boyfriend. They don't care about that, but this, this we care about. Um, Steven Crowder used to have a, I don't know, I wouldn't say co-host. Uh, I don't know what he was. Uh, somebody on the show named Jared. He went by Not Gay Jared. Um, he Jared is being sued because when he left, he got hit with a do not disparage clause, which he signed uh, when he left Stephen Crowder. We know now from Stephen Crowder and from his uh, from his crew that Stephen Crowder had this thing that he did where he would send unsolicited pictures of his junk to all the people that worked for him. And he would often take out his junk at work putting it on people's shoulders, on people's heads. These are the, this is what they've said about Steven Crowder. So yeah, like if you're going to be in a divorce, like if, if you're going through a divorce, all of this stuff is going to come up. But mostly I'm just, I'm just baffled by the Tim Pools and the, the Pearls uh, saying, coming out here and defending Steven Crowder like he's some sort of victim. Did you see the video of him talking to his wife? Did you see her immediately shut up when he said, watch it? Remember that? Do you remember how scared she was? She was saying, I'm scared, Stephen. I'm scared. You're scaring me. You scare me. Do you guys remember that? Do you guys remember that video? Republicans do not care about women. If you are a Republican and you are a woman, guess what? They don't care about you. If, if something comes up and they have the opportunity to disparage you and, and, and uh, back the man, they'll do it. They'll do it. Republican men in general are cowards. Again, I'm going to point out, elder millennial, well, I'm not going to debate. American lumberjack, well, I'm not going to debate. Ike Wingate, well, I'm not going to debate. Maude, Linz, SK, yeah, we'll debate. Conservative men are cowards. Conservative men are so cowardly that you'll see them uh, spamming the same shit over and over in here and taking shots at me, but they do not have the courage to come up here. And there's, there's a reason for that. One, they are remarkably uh, uninformed. And two, they don't know how to manage their emotions. So once they come up here and they get stuck, they just start shouting things so that uh, we will kick them or they will get banned so they can be like, oh, those people are so soft, they kicked me. That's conservative men for you. The softest thing in this world is conservative men. And I've had, uh, like, I've had some really soft stool in my life. None of them as soft as conservative men. So there you go. Take that, those of you in the comments. Again, keep saying it on the comments. All right. Um, let's see. Let me just cover the Tim Pool part real quick. I read you pearls. Uh, here's Tim Pool, who uh, by all by all accounts has never so much as had a girlfriend. I don't think he's ever even mentioned a girlfriend. I don't think he currently has a girlfriend. He lives on a compound in West Virginia with his buddies where they built a, steak, uh, a, a skate park. Uh, he got very upset when, uh, what, what is her name from the majority report? Emma Vigland wouldn't stay and have sushi and watch them do their skateboard tricks. He got really mad after their show. He's like, why don't you stay here? We'll have sushi with, with Du Bois. 
and you can watch us skateboard. And, uh, and she didn't want to, so he was really upset because I think he had some good tricks. He was really gonna, he was really gonna uh, impress her. He says Crowder has to pay 25k in child support that his ex-wife uses to pay lawyers to go after him. Well, first of all, he's wrong about that. Uh, he's uh, Crowder actually has to pay for the child support and <laughs> and the money for lawyers. So I want to be clear on that. Uh, he's actually paying more than Tim Pool knows. He has to fund his own destruction. How fucked is U.S. divorce court? How fucked is you? What do you mean? <laughs> this woman was threatened. She was threatened. She married Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder, who doesn't, doesn't believe women should work, believes that women's place is in the, in the home, raising the children, making the food. Uh, that's, that's where they're supposed to be. Now he's mad that he has to pay her out? Now he's mad that this person that uh, can't get a job anywhere else doesn't have any money of her own. He has to pay her out. And why is Tim Pool mad about this? Why? Because Republicans don't care about women. Not one bit. They, they will all support, every Republican man will support no-fault divorce if they get the opportunity. Um, oh, there we go. Who's this? Hall of Records? Eric Hall of Records. Welcome. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, brother, what's up? No, I just, um, I think there are bigger issues and the ones that bother me are, and it's it's happened on both sides of the aisle. It's been, been Republicans, it's been Democrats, uh, the war and the economy was bad. And so what do we always do? We go to war. I'm 57 years old and we have been at war somewhere on the planet my entire life. And that's for yeah. profit. And for people yeah. not to see that, it's kind of a shame. Um, no, I agree we, with that. we totally provoked the war. That's why they keep which, using. Which that's why it works better, like unprovoked. Which one are you um, talking about? Are you talking about Russia? Or are you talking about Israel? Ukraine. I'm talking. Well, Ukraine. Uh, Israel's a, just a hot mess, and they clearly what? don't respect this because he does whatever he wants. It's it's 55 percent approve of slaughtering, you know, all the Palestinians. So you know, he's he's like going with the step. My point is, we profit what? from war, and we yeah, totally sure. provoked the war in Russia. And our economy is bad. What do you mean by so that? When you say we provoke government, reactionary government we... is oh, everybody thinks the border, you know, getting seven million people across the border for votes. Oh, they don't like that. Now let's pander to to the you know it's an election year. Let's act like we really care about the border and throw a bunch of uh, you know legislation up there, which is all bullshit. You got what you wanted, which was votes. They got across the border, and you know that it it, it throws it, it. Here's what it does. Everybody that did it the right way. You pretty much told them, fuck it. How hard it is to, to become a U.S. citizen, you have pretty much told them, fuck that. You can just come across the border. To me, that's the problem. I don't care about different nationalities being here. That's what we are. We're a melting pot. But there's a correct way to do things. And this is a reactionary government. The, the what, economy's bad. The, Let's go to war. Let's more war, the, war. Well, it, you know, all right, um, Eric, Eric. People are Eric, not happy. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Eric, a breath. Go ahead. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to go through those points. Um, first of all, when you say we provoked the war in Ukraine, what do you mean by that? Well, we made a deal after the Berlin Wall went down uh, with Russia uh, that we would not advance NATO uh, any further east. And we agreed. We, we made and a what treaty. Was, what, we, we, what did we Russia it. have to do? What was Russia's terms of their agreement? Their with, agreement. With that agreement? Well, what did we, they have to do? We actually were allies during some of the wars. And the Berlin Wall coming down was kind of a, you know, the, half of Germany was communist the other half was you know free uh so we we knew that when the wall came down there was going to be some infighting and stuff so you know together as being a superpower we agreed on certain terms one of them was not advanced nato which right, we totally what were, what were the question i asked was we what were surrounded the surrounded russia with nato countries right but the question the question yeah. i i asked was what were the terms that russia had to agree to what did they have to agree not to do well we we, we it was supposed to be a uh, less uh well they definitely aren't going to advance putting weapons in Cuba, a bunch of other stuff. So um, what about that's kind of so so to, to answer your question, uh, Russia pledged not to threaten or use force against NATO allies or any other state. Right? Uh, correct. And and here's the thing. Okay, and did they Half did they of, did they adhere by that? Did they adhere to that? Are you talking about advancing on Ukraine? Yeah, I mean, they they annexed Crimea in 2014. Okay, so they didn't even Ukraine. fire one shot to take Crimea because it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't it totally matter. matters if they wanted to be back can, with Russia. Wait, hold They're on. Using you can, Russian they, currency, they speak wait, Russian. Wait, hold on, hold on. Yeah. You think that you can annex a part of a, another sovereign state 
Okay, just, well, just obviously we redrew to. the lines. We redrew the lines after the war. So here's what happened. What we about when they went into Georgia? Five billion to overthrow the Ukraine. What about government. when they went into Georgia? To listen, we're talking about Ukraine. So, wait, no, I'm asking about, you. No, because yeah. you said we provoked this war. We did. But to me, on on my end, it, it looks an awful lot like Russia broke the agreement first. That's what it looks like to me. Well, you'd be wrong. We we actually well, okay, overthrew what the Ukrainian previously? government. Okay, what happened so you're going to get loud and everything not let me speak. No, I'm trying to ask you questions, yeah. brother. You've spoken I'm, I'm way more than I I'm telling you, in 2014, I'm, we I'm, spent $5 yeah. billion dollars to overthrow the Ukrainian government. That's just a fact. We did. We did? Then we took an actor, comedian, and got him elected president, who ran on a campaign of peace and signing a treaty with Russia. What as year was that? He was elected. We what did year not was that? allow that. Because we was wanted that? to sit up CIA. Jesus fucking Christ, Eric. Yeah. In Stop 2014, we overthrew Ukraine. Stop. Yeah. When when did Zelensky get elected? Sorry, I think one of my mods muted you. When did Zelensky get elected? Let's have a conversation, Eric. You got to unmute, dude. Eric? I'm saying we provoked the war and now we no, want no, to No, no, no. Wait, Eric, that wasn't my question. When did Zelensky yeah. get elected? 2015. Uh, no, I think it was later than that. I think it was 17, wasn't it? No, they would already mur they'd already murdered all those uh, Ukrainians in their own country. They were 2019. Russians. Excuse me, it's 2019. Yeah, I said yeah, 2019. A different election. Yeah, what? You're talking wait, about the, you're you're talking I'm about talking the about elections Zelensky. before that. No, I'm right? talking about yeah, Zelensky. We, when you said Zelensky. No, I didn't say Zelensky. You did. You I'm did. Saying, you said that you said it was the guy name. that was the actor. That's Zelensky. The comedian. Yeah. Yeah, that's, well, that's Zelensky. He got elected in, in 2019. Yeah. So what are you talking about? I'm saying we overthrew the government in 14. We totally spent we five billion them? dollars to overthrow the, overthrew the Ukrainian the government? government. We what did. We overthrew the government. What do you mean by that? Well, you send in money and you send in you know propaganda and you let them know that this is. This is a, you know, your unjust government and you, you basically overthrow a government. That's how you do it. Okay, I mean, now, that's what we did. We, now this, we, we took $5 billion out of our economy without telling us citizens, which wait, I'm we took sick 5 of. billion out of 5 our billion economy, out of the economy. And, and, and we and didn't tell anybody. What's we your source pretty on much, that? we do what we want. You know, once what's you get your, them elected, yeah, what's your source on that? Well, look it up. I mean, this is, listen, I'm this looking is it up debatable. and I can't find anything. That's why I'm asking. Well, you, you can't sources. type in 2014 Ukrainian government overthrown by us. I mean, every literally what I literally what I threw up or put, that's literally what I put in. And what I'm finding is that, uh, most of these claims of us orchestrating a coup in Ukraine is coming directly from Vladimir Putin. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. Putin, Putin's the one that did the source. Well, we did. Well, no, we the, the, the government, we elected well, a comedian. Explain it to me then. Yeah, I'm explaining it to you. We act like not? we're always the good guy and we're policing the world. Sometimes we're not. Sometimes we're not. And for profit, and what NATO really means is you basically have to buy arms from us because they have to be at a certain quality. So my point is, okay, but what you're saying is we just we just funded we just funded that far right group. We're not Ukraine, being right? honest with ourselves. Eric, as Americans Jesus Christ, Eric, the right. Eric, please, can we yeah. have a conversation and not just you monologue? Could we? I'm not could we do that? Eric, but you're not responding to anything I said, Eric. My point you, is, Eric, no, not your now. turn, Eric. Shush, Eric. In 2014, we funded like the far right uh, insurrectionists in Ukraine to overthrow uh, overthrow Yanukovych. 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 Exactly. That's what I just said. Yeah, we we helped fund them, right? That's we what we overthrew did. the government. Well, okay. Well, there it was a coup. Yeah. To install CIA operatives so we could spy on Russia. And who, well, okay, yeah, I agree. We do that all the time, but what's your point here? Because that's provoking Russia. They have Russian citizens who speak Wasn't Russian, Russia... who want to be back with Russia. Wait, what? And so you are you saying- And them after the incident, after the, after the, we, we overthrow the government. What was Russia slaughter... doing at the time? We, you know, 14,000 Russians- What was murdered. Russia doing at the time? Do what now? What was Russia doing at the time? At, the, why did at we, that why time, did, they're why did back people... watching going, what in the fuck does the U.S. think they're doing? No, like Russia. We're, owned, we're not aware of it. No, no, no. Russia owned Yanukovych. That was the point. Russia was controlling Yanukovych. That's why they okay. wanted him out. Russia, Russia, the very thing that you're accusing the United States of doing, which is true, was in response to Putin doing that exact thing in Ukraine. 
Yeah, because and why are we? They're not. Wait, so a, why are so why are you not? Wait, so why are you blaming the United States when Russia was the first one that did this? This was in response to what we, Russia did. We've been playing this Cold War shit. And we I'm started asking you why you're started. only. No, I'm asking. No, I'm we asking broke the you treaty. Why you're only telling? We can act no. like we're not. We can wait. We hold on. Did. did Russia not break the truce first? No, they did not. Well, then how did they stage a coup? and get Yanukovych in, in It doesn't Ukraine. take much of a coup then, when half your country speaks Russian, they use Russian currency, and so they want to get back to it's not a coup if it's easy? See, that's the, what we don't tell the American people. So half it's not a the, coup if it's... Wait, hold on, to go back hold on. Russia anyway. It's not a You don't know that. You don't know, you you don't do know that know at that. all. They voted. No, you don't. No, then, how, then explain the to me, then explain to me how Zelensky won. Then explain oh to me how so See, you if can't a majority of the people... If a majority of the people... Oh, my God, dude. If a majority we of provoked people, this to the point dude, of I'm World asking a question. Be quiet. If yeah. a majority of the people voted for Zelensky, how are you saying that these people want to be back with the majority wants to be back with Russia? The majority said, get rid of Yanukovych. We want somebody like Zelensky, who is viewed as pro Ukraine. Explain, explain how that happened. Mods, don't don't mute him. I'll, don't I'll, I'll take care of it. Let's not mute. Zelensky won on a on a platform of peace and signing a treaty with Russia, and then as soon as he won, we denied that ability so we could install more CIA operatives and spy on Russia. And, and, you and, and who was president during that time? And who was president during that time? Who was president during that time? Yeah, of our country. Well, it would have been, um, we started this shit with Bush Sen uh, Jr. Would have been, uh, no, we're talking about Zelensky. Don't don't run from this. We're talking about Zelensky. Who's no, president? I'm not running from this. Okay, well, then answer the question. I know trying to go back in time. Who was the president? Trump was. Okay, so Trump was running a, uh, Trump was running a coup in Ukraine. So the, are, are you saying, if, no, if that's no, the case, wait, hold on, hold on, be quiet. I'm, it's my turn now. It's my uh -huh. turn, Eric. So if you're saying that this uh, that what happened with the election with Zelensky was the United States running a coup and that's why Russia is justified, then you're, why aren't you blaming Trump for this? I, I'm not. I'm blaming the U.S. government. I'm saying this goes why on both you sides Trump? of the aisle. Uh, no, I, I know profit. you are, but why aren't you blaming Trump? Well, I don't need to blame Trump because Trump, you, you want to play it both ways. Well, he's friends. Wait, I don't care place? if he sucks Putin's cock. I really don't. As long no, as I'm sure no you would war. actually prefer it as if he did. As long as innocent people don't have to die Because you sound like you profit. sound like the product of Russia. As Russian long as innocent people don't have to die so we can profit. I'm Wait, what do you think's happening in Russia every so we day? We go visit you don't think North innocent Korea. Wait, innocent kind of people traitor. are dying in Russia every day. You don't care about that. People are dying in Russia every day. Listen, that's their country and. Oh, you know, okay. That is you their just said as long as innocent people you don't cannot, die. Listen, we have been playing this game around the globe I agree. on my entire life for 100 years, where we've been fighting wars on other soil, Russia and American back. It's, it, it's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid and it's for profit. And if you don't see that, then I don't know what to tell you. Brother, I'm brother, not going to quibble already... about smaller issues. Eric. The bigger issue is that's Eric. the old school way Eric. of governing. Eric, my friend. Do me a favor and try and like just make one point at a time. We already agree that the United States has been interfering all around the world forever. We partnered with the USSR in in uh, World War II, and as soon as it was over, we partnered with the Schmatzis to go against the USSR. Yeah, we do that. Correct. We, exactly. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with any of that. My problem we brought the with what you, my problem with what you're my problem with what you're saying is not that the United States is innocent, but that you don't seem to want to put any blame on Putin for any of this. No, 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 no. Total, listen, he's, a, he's ruthless. But listen, that is Russia. You cannot you, change everybody. Okay, do you it want- It's not Putin, our responsibility okay, to try to make want, everyone free and play this game of, oh, well, we're always in the right. We always have to act like we're in the why, right. Why would- And we're not why, in this case. Okay, do you think do you think Putin we had should have selfish Ukraine? interest? Oh my God, Eric, please, Eric, please! I swear no. to God, dude, I'm trying to have a conversation with you. No, you're not. You, I'm trying. You just keep talking. Just shorten your answers just a little bit. Do you think it's good for the world and for the United States if Vladimir Putin takes over Ukraine? I think that the part of the country that wants to go back with Russia, they should redraw the lines, and that's what's going to happen. Why do you insist on answering questions I'm not asking? You did ask that. No, I said, do you think it's good if Putin gets Ukraine, if they take over Ukraine, all of Ukraine? 
He's not going to take over all of Ukraine. I, that's, that's again, why? Are, again, you're not asking or answering the question. The question is: Let me do ask you this. It, if you know, no, sure, no, Eric, Ukraine you can ask win. a question after you answer one, please, for the love of God. Do you think it would be good if Putin owned Ukraine? Uh, no. Okay. Not all of it. Okay, so then Only the what part do we that do? They, that so, be back okay, wait, wait, wait. I get it. You, you think he should get Crimea? I get it. That's fine. I, I disagree with you. I think that's silly, but I think that we can disagree. Not on one that. bullet was a, fired. I think that there's a. Happen. I think that there's an argument there from your guys' side that uh, the pro-Russian side that some of these people want. And to let me ask you this. I have hold a question. On, hold on, Eric. Could you just why would we throw money Eric, at something Eric, we know is Eric, 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 Eric. I'm almost there, my friend. I promise you're going to get plenty of time to talk. I just want. I just want to know then if you agree that that Russia shouldn't have Ukraine. What do you think the right answer is? What should we do? Negotiate. How? Well, I, I think if you can go to the table with Putin and say, listen, we're not going to let you take all of Ukraine and all of Ukraine doesn't want to go back with Russia. But the parts that do will redraw the lines like before World War One. So okay? you think it's the United States job to uh, arbitrate a deal? Well, I don't giving think it's away. Hold on. Hold on, Eric. God damn, yet. dude. Wait till the end of the question, please. Please. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. so angry. No, I well, dude, you're you hard are. to it's talk okay. to. You're really hard to talk to because you don't wait yeah. till the end of questions. But I'm so, not angry. I don't care. Uh, if, <laughs> if if you're saying like you think that the United States, our job, we shouldn't interfere, but we should arbitrate and decide whether or not Russia can have parts of Ukraine. Well, I think the world. You think that's our role be. to decide what their sovereign nation does with their borders? Yeah, but then we're going to interfere. <laughs> okay, so you want it both ways. Okay, that's. A, I'm glad you asked that. So you want to interfere and throw a bunch of money at an unwinnable war. There's yeah. no way Ukraine can hold up. It's for profit. Wait, why do you say that? We don't care about anybody. Why do you say we they can't hold up? We don't care. We didn't care why about Why do you say they can't hold up? Because you didn't see anything on the news about killing 14,000 Russian-speaking Ukrainians. You didn't see anything on the news how we provoked it. But they have to use the word unprovoked for a reason. Why do you think that Ukraine can't win? They, holy shit, come against... The full might of the Russian, it's a superpower with nuclear capabilities. There's only a few superpowers, us, Russia, yeah. and China. You don't yeah, fuck and, with the superpower. And Ukraine's backed by the better one, the bigger one, the stronger one. Oh, my God. So now we think, okay, Th that is almost sad. Right. I mean, how many people live in bully. Ukraine? What's, um, the, what's the population? So now of we're the w bully, right? No, what's the population of Ukraine? Holy shit, man. You know, I, you know I'm not, I can't Google search while we're doing all this. I'll do it. 43 million. I know they can redraw the lines. 43 million. There's 150 million people in Russia. Russia has yeah. more arms, more soldiers, more everything than Ukraine. And yet they've been unable. They've been pushed by. They tried to take Kiev and they got pushed back. I, yeah, I do think I do think Russia's losing. That's what you're hearing. Well, did they take over Kiev and just nobody told us? You know, other me other media like the BBC and pl places that, that are not so bought by corporate Brother, uh, are telling brother, the real story. The media, Ukraine really. is getting slaughtered. I don't agree slaughtered. with I I watch BBC. They're not saying that. Who's saying that on the They're, BBC? They are totally telling Who? you that there's an honorable war. I just watched Russia James really, O'Brien this morning talk about we're it. We're playing we're playing checkers and if Russia wants to play chess, they could take Ukraine. Okay, who's saying days. that? Who's saying that? I watch the BBC all the time. I've never heard anybody say that. You haven't seen that Russia has weapons that could just completely level no, out. No, obviously that's wrong. not what, No, you said even without that, going nuclear. No, but I see, asked that's you. The thing. It, why are we oh why are we God, provoking brother. the bear brother, that has can nuclear we stay power? On topic? Can we stay on topic? I am on topic. We're talking about we're talking about Kiev. Like, do they did Russia take over Kiev or did they get pushed back? I'll bet you we redraw the lines oh and we make a treaty. Brother, brother, I bet did you redraw dude, the lines dude, and we draw, make a treaty. That's what I don't happens. know if you've ever answered a question before in your life, but generally speaking, the answer should have something to do with the fucking question. Did they yeah. take over Kiev? Or were they did pushed they take back? Over what? Kiev. Did they yeah. take it over? Yeah. I mean, they, they advanced on it without... And then what bullets. happened? And then the Ukraine fought back. And then what happened? Then the U.S. started giving them drones and other... No, what did Russia do? Sorry, I should have asked a better question. What did Russia do? They re they retreated. They retreated, right. Yeah. But what you said is, it's because I only believe that because of the news sources I got, but we agree on this. Probably got a phone call. Are we profiting? So I think you maybe got a phone call in there. I didn't hear the your whole. No, question. no, no. We're good. What's yeah, the it question? Yeah, clicked over. Somebody tried to call me. Um, and here's the problem.
we, we, we spend $160 billion. Basically, 90% of that is staying in the U.S. to make more weapons. That's just the truth. People think we're sending 160 True. billion to Ukraine. That is untrue. It is just to, to give to all the richest of rich in America who basically own the, the war machine. You know, the industrial military complex, you ever heard of that? Where we fund that bullshit? Well, at some point we need to stop bullying the world and saying we're the toughest superpower, which we might be, but we spend well, then, 43% more than any other country. 43% well, more than any other country. Yeah, so, I agree. I agree with all that. Let me ask you a question then. Yeah. Why don't you support what the Democrats are saying when they say, like, let's make all this aid to Ukraine be a loan? Let's make all this aid to Ukraine be a what? A loan. Let's make interest on it. Yeah, see, that's even more creepy. Um, Why so is that creepy? Interfere. Wait, what? Wait, we're gonna, hold on. We're going to interfere, Wait. and then we're going we're gonna to charge you on the money that we're giving you like other countries. So yeah, basically, for the yeah, they're going to be we're not bankrupt give... for 100 years. They're going to be poor as hell for 100 years paying us back. Which is Wait. pretty much what the World Bank did. World Bank Wait, has hold on. You don't their think, short hairs. You know we do what? this all the time, right? You know that when we led, uh, give military aid, we, we issue it as a loan, like most of the time. In fact, some of the aid in Ukraine is a loan. Well, you know, I know. But, but why, I, isn't I know that, that the smartest way but to do it? You know we're bankrupted, right? The United States of America. No, we're not we, bankrupted. We defaulted on the loan? We, we we're didn't? not bankrupted. We didn't default on a loan last summer? I don't know if you know what bankruptcy means. <laughs> we're not bankrupt. Cool. Okay. All right. I I, I, I understand what you're saying. You like, that. I think what you're trying to say is that the American, like, that we've got problems with our own finances. I agree with you there. Because but we borrowed money up. to war for wars. Yeah. So why would we? So when we give aid, why would we not issue it as a loan? The the reason that some of this aid isn't issued as a loan is because the Republicans are blocking that. They don't want to do that. Oh my gosh, it's an election year, so that just anything goes. Listen, you can't. What do you mean? You just what, what, just respond to is, what I just said. War is for profit, and, and now you're saying you are profiting in more ways. Why? Why so won't you engage? Let's profit. Okay, why you, you want to profit Eric? from the war by the loans to them, and you want to Eric, profit from the war by Eric, building. Why won't more you weapons. engage, Eric? Why won't you engage in what I say? I just did. I said, okay, well, what I said, what I said is, what's from loaning them money? Correct. And you want to profit from building more weapons and sending them to them. I, I don't get it. On one hand, you're complaining that we shouldn't spend money, uh, even though we recognize There's a better that, like, way. That, hold on. Oh, what's the better way? The better, the better way, way is, is, to is, what? is to negotiate and give parts Trade. of Ukraine to Russia. I don't agree Trade with that. Trade goods and services. Stop going to war everywhere for profit. Trade goods and bad. services? Brother, okay. what are you talking about? And paid for by Russia. How about that? How now, about the you war stops? How about you guys put up a serious? Okay, yeah. Uh, what did? Okay. Yeah, that's that's what it is. That's the dumbest thing you said so far. That it's over. Yeah. Why? Why? Nobody's he afraid of Donald Trump. He, he's a he goddamn can... moron. He's a he's a it useful like idiot it. for Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin like played him like a fiddle. Vladimir you, Putin got whatever think. he wanted out of Donald Trump. Well, if Vladimir think. Putin is afraid of Donald Trump, then why does Vladimir Putin want Donald the world's Trump to be afraid president of Donald again? Trump. Wait, if Vladimir the world Putin is, is afraid a, of Donald if Trump. Vladimir Putin is afraid of Donald Trump, why does Vladimir Putin want Trump to be president again? Because there will be peace. He can negotiate. And I don't think you think <laughs> if you don't think the Russians love their children too, you yeah, wrong. that's what it is. Yeah. That's It'll, Putin wants the world Trump to, Putin wants Trump to be president so that Trump will force Putin to be peaceful. Get the fuck out of here with that. That's so silly. You know yeah, that's you not a good argument. Peace. You know that's not a good argument. You don't you think Russians want peace? Be honest. You don't think Russians want peace, huh? I think they want Ukraine. And no, I don't think they want peace. I don't because the problem that Russia has mm -hmm. is that Russia built an economy where the oligarchs have all the money. And most of that money is built off of oil and oil is something that is kind of going away you see how quickly electric vehicles are taking over the market uh, russia and saudi arabia both see the writing on the wall and ironically the two countries who are going to be devastated if we stop relying on oil are heavily heavily invested in donald trump being president why listen to him drill baby drill we're gonna attack green energy i saw the republicans this morning mike johnson put out a tweet saying here's all the bills we're about to attack on green energy mm -hmm. yeah i wonder why vladimir putin whose country will fall apart if they don't have oil uh to to prop up their country anymore i wonder why he and the saudis love donald trump so much why do you so think the saudis all, gave two billion place, to his son-in-law so why do you think did, the saudis have given millions of dollars to also, donald trump what yeah. why we also we also because well, they, you've done because all they think he's going to bring world one, but i'll tell you why we also yeah. broke we broke the treaty by we we blew up the pipeline we know we did biden even said in front of the nation 
We'll just blow why up the are you, Why are you not responding to what I said and now moving to Man, the Man, you just line. said so much different shit. I know, you... and you and the one thing that you said in response had nothing to do with anything that I said. So why it don't is you the oil on? pipeline that's feeding Europe uh, that we blew it up? Yeah, that totally is uh, in response to what you're saying. We Wait, blew up their the pipeline. Question, to... The question I asked was, why do you think the Russians and the Saudis who are dependent on oil for their country to survive love Donald Trump so much? That was the question. Because he's totally going to negotiate. We're going to listen. If you really think, oh, wait, going, what was that? Wait, what electric? was that, Eric? Wait, hold on. You said electric? it. I know you said it, and then you're like, so "Oh shit, I said it." But what did you say, oil, Eric? For oil. What did you yeah, say money. about oil? Profit. Oil. Profit. Money. Yeah. It's not yeah. war. It's not war. Well, it's Trump not war. Was, oil Trump is not war. Ukraine too. Listen, and let me tell Trump you something. Is, when you, when you can ship goods in an electric truck, no, 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 no. Let me know. You don't get to say Trump is anti-war. He's not. You, he is. You're now creating this hypothetical Trump that he doesn't is. exist where he's anti-war. He speaks to the UN you, in and order every, for you, In order for you, it's not your turn. Every in country order, of the in, world. It's not your turn. It's not yeah, your yeah. turn. In order for you to justify the fact that he's cozied up to Putin uh, and Putin wants Trump to be president Cozy. because because he owns Trump. And you're like, oh, uh, well. Uh, How's he owning? If we, if we How fix does he own oil, him? that will do world peace. How does he own him? How does he own him? US? Yeah, how well, does he own him? It it appears maybe funding. You guys play it both ways. He meets no, with North Korea. Like... It's the first U.S. president to meet with North no. Korea, and then Wait, he's still kind of now we're on North Korea, Eric. Now we're on yeah. North Korea. You run into North Korea now. Let's stay on Russia. It's the same it's, thing. You asked me same a thing. question. He, what do you mean? If he how meets he with run? Putin, explain he's, he's to me, Eric. Eric, if he explain. Meets with North Korea. Eric, he's a traitor. Eric, Eric, yeah. explain to me why Russians were using Trump operatives to funnel money from Russia to Trump. But listen, that, that's, well, well, he went to North Korea. He no, it? answer that question. They want him to be president. Why? Because it helps the world economy. Because the oh, oil no, 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 no. Why? Why because, really, though? Why really, oh, the, Eric? The Green Deal. You, you really think Eric, the Democrats? Why is it are really, the, Eric? The, why the is planet? it really? Well, we're going to war. I mean, we're going to war, and and then you're mm -hmm. saying we're worrying about the planet at the same time. No, I'm wondering. Well, no, a lot of I, I haven't said anything about that. I asked you, why do you think? Putin economy so much their economy Trump. will be thriving under Trump okay <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about this is yeah. crazy dude is he it? just admitted that that Putin owns Trump and that they need Trump back in there so that we can keep relying on oil guess what Eric nobody fucking cares about what's oil more anymore. harmful to the Look, environment nope, not, Eric, not in the middle of my sentence car. Eric not in the middle of my sentence electric yeah. vehicles are yeah. taking over the yeah. biggest car manufacturer in America electric Tesla yeah. what are all what is Ford and GM trying to do they're trying to go electric they what's electric. China doing going electric they this electric. green new deal that you're afraid of this oil shit they want us to go back to oil because it keeps their country afloat meanwhile the rest of the world's like nah we're out your you electric want us to go oil. backwards. You want us to go backwards. Your hybrid and you want us to align with people like Putin. Listen, you, your electric car is more harmful to the environment than the gas car. Now, now it is. Yes, yes it, is. But you, it is. Yes, but do you understand why? Well, then hear what you're saying. You want a no, green deal. No, for I asked. I, I heard what I said. Do you understand why? But the why? lithium batteries are more harmful to the environment why? than a gas Why? Gas Explain car. that. Explain well, it. The, explain why electric cars are more no, the lithium. costly to, to the environment? Yeah. Uh, well, let's see. The mining for uh, lithium, that's why we okay. want it. If you really, everybody doesn't realize why we were in Afghanistan. No, 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 Yes, they are. No, 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 Yes, they are. Tell me how lithium is extracted and why it's harmful to the planet. Okay, it's... The, once these cars are done, they are way more toxic to the environment. Now, listen, this is a big conversation, but you could, this isn't even debatable. Electric cars ultimately are more harmful to the environment well, I said than why. gas cars. I said why. How do so you we're get going lithium? all lithium because it, it lithium? stimulates the economy know, Eric, and people Eric, all buy these electric Eric, cars thinking they're doing good to the, with you. the environment, Eric. and they're wrong. Eric. Nobody so you want a green deal Eric, so you can electric cars, Eric, but they're more harmful. Sweetheart, Eric. Yeah, I don't even get to speak. Literally, you just want to literally nobody in the world disagrees with you. This is what's happened to Republicans. You think that lefties don't know that the way that we get lithium is more harmful to the environment. We know. 
But the question I'm asking you, Eric, and the Your reason that I'm being a hypocrite. Eric, Eric. The reason I'm asking you this question is to gauge your understanding of why it's more harmful to the earth and will that be reversed? So I want to ask first, what is the process of getting lithium that makes it so harmful? Well, you got all the runoff. And so you're getting, you're getting that down into, uh, I mean, this is a deep, the deep runoff? question. There's so many different reasons why they're more caustic. At the end of the life of an electric car, the, the, the batteries that are not uh, more not you don't usable even know your own talking points Eric no I'm asking the mining the mining yeah, the of mining of it is, is, uh, is, is it, it is where it is in the world and and how we mine it, it I'm not I don't know anything about why? mining lithium I just why? know that it's caustic to the environment why that I don't know I don't, I don't know exactly. well maybe did you did you think that I maybe just know you that electric that cars out? are more harmful to the environment than gas cars all right well let me help you explain then yeah. Uh, or help you understand. So why, but let, let me let me ask. No, this I'm going to help you, you understand, Eric, and then it's going to be your turn. Like I'm going to Eric. Eric, no you have not. Eric, you haven't landed the plane yet. So I'm going to help you, and then you can ask your question. Yeah. The reason that the process right now is more harmful to this world is because we don't have green energy in most of the world. So when we extract lith lithium, when we uh, manufacture cars, we're mostly doing that using old technology that pollutes. We have to build our infrastructure of green energy before we can continue manufacturing, or not before, but before manufacturing starts, uh, uh, the pollution from manufacturing starts coming down. We have to build the infrastructure. And what, what Republicans do all the time is you guys look at a process and you don't look long term. The argument that you're using against green cars would have been the same argument that people could have used against cars in general when we switched from horses to cars. It's the same argument. But the truth is, like, once we have infrastructure built and once green energy can uh, accomplish these processes on its own, then the pollution drops, the CO2 emissions drop. We ha in, in order, but in order to build the infrastructure, we also have to have the product. So we have to slowly build out this infrastructure. That's how this works. But the, the thing is, is your party, the Republicans, are completely owned by the oil companies. So they put out these talking points so that people like you can show up here and be like, oh, well, you guys don't know what you're talking about. You're so stupid. It's, it's more pollution. No, no, no. I, They're I, not I, telling you the whole story yeah. where yeah, the only yeah. reason it's polluting more now is because we don't have infrastructure built up for green infrastructure energy yet so but we're going to go ahead and rely on electric cars when we don't have it all built up no we well we're going to you start just said that you just said start, we don't we're going to know start, how harmful it is we're going to start we have it all yes. built up but when we do have yes. it built up then it'll make sense yes because oh, well, then you have sense. it does See, make on the sense. other side when you build I, out when you build out so listen brother i've got they like, I've toxic got, fumes i've got yeah. solar at my house right yeah uh, i have solar panels at my house they could they could power it's totally different let me totally explain. different from a hybrid. Dude, you haven't heard the rest of the sentence yet, so be quiet. Yeah. Just hear it out. I have solar panels on my house as we speak. The way that Arizona is set up is that I am required to pay the SRP, which is my power company. I'm required to pay them outside of peak hours. I'm not allowed to use solar to get all of my energy, right? So when people are like, oh, well, solar itself... Uh, and that was the argument against solar. Solar is expensive to build. You can't even power your house. Well, it's because our current infrastructure, the way that it's set up now, they need me connected to the grid. They need my excess power connected to the grid. Right? They need all of this. And so I, I'm stuck paying into a system. Even though my house is self-sufficient with solar, I still have to pay the power companies. Like These things roll out uh, slowly. And yes, we will see increased pollution as we build... Uh, as we uh, quickly build electric vehicles, but over time, that pollution and that CO2, CO2 emissions come back down. If you've read the Green New Deal, if you've read any of these green energy policies, they all say this. It's, it's not like Republicans are the only ones aware that this will temporarily hurt the environment. It's that Republicans stop there, and they don't, they don't go on with the study. They just stop there so that they can keep doing the bidding of the oil barons. No, I'm with you on, listen, I'm with you on a lot of this. But when you're talking about electric cars, not solar, because my Prius has solar on the top and it powers the car to some I didn't degree. know that happened. Prius has solar tops? Yeah, I have a solar top. That. It, cool. it charges while it sits in the sun. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Oh, sorry, um, I didn't know that. I'm getting about 58 miles a gallon. Shout out Toyota. 
You what? I know. Week. No shit, right? <laughs> so on the sales side, because I own, I sell cars, it is toxic. They emit toxic fumes that people don't want to talk about. The battery that's in the back, it has to be encased. And there's usually even a funnel and a tube. So that way the caustic fumes don't get in the cabin and kill someone. People yeah. don't discuss that part of it. You know, that's emitting toxic fumes. We're in that side of it, I do know. I don't know Wait, about the mining. Don't, don't but regular I know about cars the emit cars. toxic fumes that we can't put into? I know if you uh, close your garage and open a window and run your car, that could be life threatening. So don't regular cars do the same thing? Yeah, you don't put the muffler in your mouth. But okay, but we don't talk, is. but we don't really talk about but, that either, right? You, like, but when you, we do talk about that. We, and we kind of, we know. But my point is, if yeah. it's more toxic over time, considering not just the mining, but on the other side, it's not, battery, though, that's, when the batteries that's the are argument. when the batteries are done, that lithium is it mostly in junkyards being leaked into the ground. It is way more toxic, and, and we don't it's, have it's a not, setup. Though. To Wait, where but it's we're, not. It's not that part of it. That's that's Time Magazine is totally wrong. Then. No, 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 no. Okay. It's not more. No, no, no. Sorry, it's not more toxic over time. Over time, it becomes less toxic. But you and then you the want to. I want to get off the grid too, but we're not going to do it by having to plug in our electric cars. So well, it's really. What I, was, one I wasn't trying to say. Yeah, I was just trying to show how like. Uh, I know what you're saying. Incrementally, Listen, we have to, but the guy but if you look at wait, but car. if you look at any of these green uh, these green energy studies, you know what you're saying is not true. That over time, it actually becomes less toxic. If we do all these things that are going to help make it. More, less toxic to the environment but my point is we have like recycling things, lithium batteries but we're right fully relying on electric Wait, moving forward but like like 10 years ago we couldn't recycle lithium batteries now it's like 90 percent or something like that some number 90 does anybody have that 90 you can call any junkyard in yeah, america 90 something right percent now. of them are recycled but we didn't used yeah. to be able to do that we've come you can a long call way any and junkyard in america right better. now they'll have a ton of hybrid cars that are just sitting out there rotting and leaking into the ground so, i agree with you but yeah. uh, but again, oh, but what you're do what, the mistake in that is you're taking a story and you're saying because this exists now, this will exist in the future. Okay, that's so the problem. Here, with the, here, yeah, we kind so of were making my if, whole point. If, we were making my whole point, and I just see it differently. You know, and and here's why: we say one thing and we do another. Bush made a deal. He called it reforestation program. The reforestation program sounds good reforestation we're going to plant more trees that's after he drills in our state parks so the okie doke you right? it's i'm going to say this and i'm going to do this and it's kind of what i'm seeing from this administration that we say this we let all these illegals across for votes then we see that wait, no, people don't like that, that. so wait, now all of a sudden on. right in election year we're going to say we're trying to put all this what? you know legislation on the books what? that we're going to tighten up the borders i mean they're what? the ones can that I ask, were wait getting, hold on let me ask you a question about apps the votes. to show you where to cross the border they have asked that the U.S. government spent money to show illegals how to sneak into our country. Let me ask you a question about this. Is that um, not true? Uh, I don't agree. They with have the way apps that, that hold show on. I don't, illegals Eric, how I heard, to sneak Eric, into Eric, our I country. You. I heard you. I don't There's agree with tons the way of money to allow this. Then I, all of a sudden we realize it's not popular. Eric, please. Because nobody likes Eric, what's going on in New York. Eric, and we're not please. ready for this influx Eric, of all these people. Eric. Please. But if they're poor, man, that Eric. helps the Democratic Party. Please, Eric. Keep you've them on the, the same. Eric, you've said that yeah. like nine times in a row, and I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Yeah, I ahead. disagree with. I disagree with how you're framing it. I would ask this: those uh, those who come to our border currently, most of them are seeking uh, or saying that they're seeking asylum, right? Mm-hmm. What percentage of those people are granted asylum? Well, we're letting ninety percent. No, 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 no. The question. No, 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 no. Answer. Please answer the question I ask. Uh, I, I mean, I don't know the stats on who's 4%. seeking asylum. You Four. can say that. Wait, so now, now it's my turn. Eric, Eric, you monologued money. for a while, so now it's my turn. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Four, four percent. That means four percent of the people seeking asylum will ever have an opportunity to vote. The people that are coming into our country that are, are waiting, that, that are being shipped all over this country, they are awaiting court cases. They do not have the right to vote. They are not here illegally. If you come here and you claim asylum, you are legally here. Now you could argue that their asylum, that most of their asylum claims aren't legitimate, and I would agree with you. That's why only four percent of them are granted asylum. I agree with you. But this this rhetoric that you keep believing that like we're bringing people across the border for votes is fucking stupid. It really is so fucking stupid. And it's oh, a way for and I think in my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion. It's just a way for Republicans to uh, obfuscate from the fact that they're not doing a goddamn thing about our border. Why would we allow this? Why would we allow all? I mean, at one time, why are we have our cities flooded? Which, by the way, 
in my city, I don't know where you are. You clearly aren't in the city where this is happening. I there live on. I live tents. in a border state. There are more homeless. There are more. I live in a I've border state, a giant life. city and a border state. Okay, so we are flooded with homeless tents, there it is. drugs. There it is. And the yeah. we are. No, I I say the there it is because is I literally control. talked. Yeah, I literally talked about this yesterday, and this is like this is literally, and and I'm not accusing you of this, so please yeah. understand, I'm accusing yeah. others of this who are feeding you this information. This is not an I accusation live for you. Here. I can but see. It, that hold I'm on, in the offer hold on, my friend. Hold on, my friend. Hold on, my friend. The the rhetoric that we have people rhetoric. starving in this. Yes, that's rhetoric. It's re rhetoric can be true or false. Just so you know, rhetoric okay. is just what you're saying. But the yeah. rhetoric that of like, oh, we have starving people in the streets. And so we can't take immigrants. It's literally the exact same thing that was being said by the people in Germany in 1930s. And let me just point this out. We have 13 million jobs in this country currently unfilled. We have the baby boomer generation, the largest uh, group, uh, the largest generation in the history of our country, they are either dying or leaving the workforce, and we don't have anybody to replace them with. Birth rates are, are dropping. We have, so we already have a problem in this country labor. where we can't feel jobs, <laughs> and we have a bunch of boomers who are not, by the way, those boomers largely are not manual labor jobs, right? These are largely like That's jobs right. that we would, yeah, they're jobs well, that require a degree. Make, so we have to fill, so we have to fill those jobs, and we can't fill it with children because we're not having enough children but even yeah. if we were we're talking you know 22 23 24 years away from being able to fill this job so what mm -hmm. i look is i look at our country and i say look we have a desperate need for people and we have people that are desperate to be here largely many of them are here because we destabilized their countries which i'm sure you agree with so yeah, why totally. not we come up with their the countries and then we get so, their poor yes. home masses yeah so why okay. not so why not fix the system and your because party is, and your party is, is saying no now you're now you're thinking because listen now here's where i'm going with this we've allowed all them in because they're cheap labor wow really and just like if you get a job at walmart right now the first thing they tell you is how to get food stamps and be subsidized by the government to have a job so the vote, other, so the other gonna vote for the guy that wants to lowest cut taxes unemployment with billionaires with again that's because they're taking two jobs now See, so why don't you advocate for then why don't right? you advocate for make ends a, meet then why not advocate for a living wage my point is these people are taking jobs no, you, you want to blame immigrants you want to blame immigrants for the greed you want to blame so, immigrants for the greed of people like the wall so basically we're Walmart. moving towards if everyone's going to be subsidized by the government with low-paying jobs that we need filled if everyone eventually hey, is going hold to be on why subsidized by the government wait 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 we're not advocating we're not by the way pc and all this political correctness friend, and we can't speak anymore friend, is propaganda friend, as well by the, friend, the germans and everyone friend, else too my friend yeah. Nobody is advocating that the And if you really think the Democrats oh my God. shut trans, up, dude. Using shut it. up. They're God using damn, trans. dude. It's not your turn anymore. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, dude. When I start a sentence, can you just shut up? Would that be well, okay? New world order. That's what you want. No, 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 no. Got it. What what you're saying is uh, a lie. Nobody on our side is advocating that the government subsidize these workers. We're advocating yeah, that the Waltons, who are billionaires and can will never be able to spend their wealth pay their workers a living wage so that the government doesn't have to subsidize you're you're with the party that's like hey let's make sure the billionaires have a money and then you bitch about the fact that we've got a bunch of people who can't afford to pay their bills you don't care that people at the top are hoarding the wealth and you don't want the government totally to step care. in and help anybody you totally want to care. do nothing you guys are all well, cucks totally to billionaires care. and you Just have no idea how to fix the problem what you want to do is you want to blame poor people that's that and you want to blame immigrants down. and the problems yeah. in this country were not caused by trickle poor down, people huh? or that's immigrants the... it was caused by ronald that's reagan problem, introducing yeah, huh? trickle down economics which has done nothing but exacerbate the diff the yeah. wealth so, gap in this there's country the other let me t let, yeah no let me give the you a tax number breaks, let me by the no, way, shut up place, eric shut up it's not your turn yet work. it's not your turn yet eric the middle it's not class, your turn yet eric it's not your turn yet eric yeah. be quiet it's not your turn yet let mm -hmm. me give you a, a, a fact in in ninth in the 1970s prior oh. to trickle down economics workers in america adjusted for inflation and adjusted for year made on average their take-home pay was on average five thousand uh, over five thousand dollars a month and again adjusted for inflation to compare to today's rates 
Today, we're right around 4,000. That number, which had been pretty steady throughout United States history, has been on a precipitous decline ever since Ronald Reagan introduced trickle-down economics. That was almost 50 years ago now. We're, we're almost at 50 years of trickle-down economics, and all we've seen is that the average American is making less and less, and the billionaire class has grown massively. We had the largest transfer of wealth in our nation's history. The, the disparity between the wealthy and the middle class has never been greater. This shit doesn't work. And you guys are after 50 years, we see the we see the results. If you looked, you could see the results. And you guys are doubling well, down on the, the same the same failed policies from the mm -hmm. last 50 years. Everything you've brought up today, when you talk about the unhoused, when you talk about people on food stamps, all of mm -hmm. those are caused by trickle down economics. And you're blaming immigrants and That's poor you people believe. instead. No, it's okay. not what I believe. It's what the data says. And yeah. you're blaming it on immigrants, and you have no data, data? to back that up. You want to talk yeah. about I'm your not feelings. Anything you on want immigrants. to talk about, oh, people are I homeless, and so them. it's the immigrants' They're problem. Being used. You haven't brought a single set a data point to this yet. Well, here's a data you point. just are talking about your feelings and the rhetoric here's you've been hand fed no, I'm really by not Republicans about. who you're are completely so beholden to the billionaire. You can cry and get over it because he's going to win the election. That's sad, but. Because yeah, good answer. Is, this is exactly what I would expect. You frame Republicans. I give you data and you go, well, you're going to cry when Trump wins. You yeah, are. Good answer, dude. That's a you are. smart answer. That's really I, intelligent. I, I, I can it's respond really to this. The welfare system is not working. Yeah, it we heard Ronald Reagan, welfare queens, we get it. Yeah. The country yeah. was way better before we invented the welfare and all economics. that. Do, do I think people that are the disabilities and all that need help they do do we need section 8 for people that have disabilities and and, and can't work yeah. yes we do yeah. but what happens is you trap people in a cycle of poverty which the democrats love <laughs> no cycle you're of poverty. wrong love that thing. shit you're wrong love about it. this what? there are no you're... programs that get people out of it you can look up any statistics of, of every not. racial group you, the blacks not. have the black community has been voting Democrat for 60 years, yep. and they have the lowest economic in every category, the worst schools, everything, because it loses yep. initiative. If I don't yep. have to work and you'll yep. take care of me, yep. then it just keeps exacerbating. Yep. Now you yep. bring now, in a bunch of people who are going to be in low-paying jobs that are also going to need yep. help from the system, and that's yep. just going to exacerbate the problem. It's, it's already caused a tremendous amount of damage in the inner cities. We already have seen the model. Then we, you know, then we hit him with the crack epidemic. You know, it, you know, we're the ones that exacerbated it. We're the ones that brought the coke in, and we're killing millions of people by funding this fraud. Now you want to expand that? I'm saying no. that that doesn't work. That doesn't work, and it's not trickle down with Trump's tax breaks. It's not. Twenty six percent of the of the breaks help the middle class more than ever. It was the oh my best God, dude. How many points between are you the one percent and the poor. How many the more points Americans do you have here? Made forty percent more. more than during Trump's administration than they are now. And right, if you're gonna, so, oh listen, God. you guys can't even concede the economy. Enough. All right, God, God damn, dude. You can't even. Uh, stop, you can't monologue forever, okay? You don't get 10 minutes to monologue. Eric, I asked you a specific question. I've muted you, you can come back off mute. But I asked you a specific question that you refused to answer. And here's the problem with everything that you just said. All of that, a lot of that stuff is true, but there is a distinct and clear time when all of this shit started going south and it was trickle down economics it, the reason there are people that are too poor to live is because there are people that hoard too much money there's only a there's a limited supply of money in our country we we're forced to print money to give to poor people because when we inject money into the economy it goes straight to the fucking top and it never trickles back down eric if trickle down economics worked we would never have to print money we wouldn't have poor people we wouldn't have destitute people we wouldn't have unhoused people if this was working like you guys said it was we wouldn't be having uh, alarming rates of people in the wealthiest country being unhoused we wouldn't have alarming uh, disparities between ceo pay and the average worker pay trickle down economics is a scam and it scams you and it scams me and it has scammed america you know what else happened after trickle down economics our debt skyrocketed skyrocketed you know why because we cut taxes to rich people 
poor people got more poor and then republicans have spent 50 fucking years saying let's not give money to poor people because the billionaires need it so we designed a system where the money flows right to the top and then you guys sit there and bitch on the sidelines and go don't give money to the poor people don't give money to the poor people we have to because the system doesn't work the system we've set up doesn't fucking work if it worked we wouldn't have to print money eric you can blame any president you want, but it's been 50 years. It's been Democrats. It's been Republicans. It's trickle-down economics. That's the fucking problem. Our country was great when the billionaire class didn't exist. Taxes were introduced in this country only to tax the rich, only to tax the 1%. When we first had income tax, it was only on the 1%. You guys have bastardized this whole thing and you're demonizing poor people and immigrants and you're just saying like, oh, yeah, it's the billionaires. They're the great ones. It's these immigrants and these poor people, the ones that are that wake up in the morning going, God, I don't know how I'm going to feed myself today. And then you demonize them if they steal a loaf of bread. Like, it's fucking disgusting, man. So you bring in all these immigrants, right? Illegals, no, whatever you to say. trickle down economics. That's what Why your belief if, is. If for 50 years, we have had trickle down economics. No, 60s. Yeah. Why did it if start in the 50s and 60s what's before that? your, you know, Reagan's trickle down? That's not what's going on. That is not what's going on. Wait, explain it. Explain Trump why. For not, I will explain, explain it then. I will explain, explain that. And the idea our that I love income, Our average yeah. income's lower See, than you're it was so angry. before trickle down and, and economics. You're filibuster. It's fine. Well, shut the it's fuck fine. Up, I'll man. wait. God, you've been talking I'll let, nonstop. I'll let you, I'll let you whatever, you, you know, you're, you're just you angry. You need to answer questions, Eric. So I'm going to try this again. You said you were going to shut up. I, I did. I mean, the I'm listening to you I'm asking, go Eric, all over the board oh, with some made up shit about trickle up? down. Is this shutting right? up? Is this shutting up? Eric, if trickle down economics, you haven't stopped talking for five minutes. If trickle down economics worked, then how yeah. come wealth inequality and uh, and just it's average take Trump home pay to. has dropped? Average take not, home pay has dropped since trickle down economics and the wealth gap has increased. Why? That explain is not. Me, explain you, why you know, they that have happened. Archives. There's proof explain of this. Explain why it happened then. They have White House archives, right? There's Explain proof. why okay. it happened. Well, the IRS says that the amount of taxes collected under Trump is more than any, right? Anybody, because he made it so simple that even the rich did pay. The disparity between the top I didn't fucking ask that, Eric. Poorest, I didn't ask that, Eric. You're muted again. God damn, dude. I said 50 years. I said, why did income for 50 years drop? And why did the wealth gap grow? And you said, well, you see, during Trump, uh, we actually brought in more money. You know who brought in more money before Trump? You know who had the record before Trump? Obama. You know who had the record before that? Bush. You know who had the record before that? Clinton. You know who had the record before that? Bush. Every president sets that record. It's a dumb fucking talking point. But I would love if you answered my question. If trickle-down economics is working, explain why the average American worker has less now than they did before trickle-down economics. And explain to me why would the wealth gap is at an all-time high. If you don't think that's the fault of trickle-down economics, please just explain to me what happened then. That's all I'm asking. Give me the alternate theory for why wages dropped and the wealth inequality is at an all-time high. That's the only question I'm asking, Eric. And you blame it all on trickle-down Reagan, huh? I'm asking you for a different theory. Do you I have don't a think different theory? I don't think we were under trickle-down economy with, with Trump. I don't. I don't think that was his agenda. I don't. Cut taxes for the rich. That's not what happened. He didn't cut That's... taxes for the rich? He cut taxes for everybody, and he still he collected cut, more I know, money. I know that, but did How he did cut taxes happen? for the rich? He did cut taxes for the rich, but it, it was okay, like 3%. when was the greatest wealth Middle transfer class in the history? Middle class was 26%. What year was the greatest wealth transfer in the history of our country? While we all sat home on our asses with this fake emergency. Yeah, for, see, it's almost like our economy is rigged, isn't it? It is rigged. And here's the yeah, thing. What, if you think I believe, hold on, let's think I believe in the billionaire Eric, class, Eric, found a point of agreement. half the billionaires let's, got their money illegally. And let's, yet let's we don't stay do there. About let's it. stay there. Yes, Eric. Yes. yes. And some of them got it because they had created a system where Boot the legging. money flows directly to them and you can't compete. No, you can't compete. Okay. That's what trickle act. That's so the, the two result different parties are both economics guilty, because it doesn't both, trickle down, Eric. Both they parties are guilty money. pandering. See, the problem is we elect them. We, the people, are supposed to be electing people that have our best interest at heart. But that's not what happens. Because That's not relevant to, to this conversation, Eric. And Please stand on subject. Please like stand Russians subject. and Chinese. Please stand and then they subject, do Eric. Whatever they want. Eric, Eric, let's stay on subject. Could we?
Uh, I mean, I'm staying on subject. Okay. If you think trickle, so, Eric. Having it, everybody it, on welfare Eric, eventually, which is Eric, what the Democrats Eric, are wanting, Eric, it's not going to work. We Eric, might as well just be communists Eric, or join Eric, the New World Order. Eric, Eric, Eric. If trickle That's down conspiracy, down, huh? Eric, new World Order? Eric. Eric, it's, I'm asking you. I know you want to change. I know you're new world desperate order to change the subject. Eric, if you're not going to talk to me about trickle down economics, just leave the box. There's nothing to talk about. If you're not, not okay, down. there's nothing. Okay, well, I don't believe leave. that is the. Uh, All right, then leave. That was, then leave. Was, if you don't want to talk about it, if you don't, if you don't have enough to talk about, if you have to switch to the NWO. This is not about to switch. The economy okay, is well, failing. Then, okay, then. Biden then is borrowing a the trillion question. dollars every then hundred and thirty days. Eric, Eric, nobody cares. Biden answer is borrowing a, a trillion dollars oh, in future money. Eric, one last chance. Prop up this One last chance. Shut the fuck up. One last chance. It's about the money. See, we're talking about the money. Shut up. Why is the Democratic? All right, there's your mute. Let me know when you're ready to answer this question. You can unmute. I'm going to ask this question one last time. And if you don't answer it or you don't have an answer, Eric, just leave. If trickle-down economics is working, then why isn't it working? Why is the money not trickling down? Because we're borrowing a trillion dollars every 130 days to you prop up this you false... Have no fucking idea. You have no fucking idea. It has nothing to do with borrowing. It has nothing to do with that. Eric has no idea. This is the problem with this is the problem with MAGA. Like, they will they will stay. Eric will sit up here forever and talk about something he knows nothing about. Like trickle down economics has nothing to do with government spending. That's absolute nonsense. It's absolute nonsense. Uh, Jen, I don't know who's here. If if we've got opposition, if you know, you can bring up the next one. But that was silly. That was annoying. Hey, sorry, I don't see the name yet. Uh, one hole. Welcome. What's up? Been a minute. Yeah, what's up? I've been listening for a while now. That guy's kind of got my brain scrambled a little bit. Give me a second you. here. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. I swear this world is so screwed. Um. Well, I'll agree with you on part of it with the trickle economics the other part of it will be the private banking system um the fact that we made our money limited limits our skilled trade i mean i'm seven years into a mechanicing and in the territory i'm in the shops can't even afford to pay me the last guy that said he was going to pay me 700 a week couldn't even meet that and the check i got was 400. when i told him i'll move to part-time he said nope you can't do that i got to have full-time how do you think the, uh, you said you're, it, you're a mechanic? Ridiculous. Yeah. What kind, of work, what kind of work do you do? Like just general, are you doing uh, all repairs? Like do you do tires, you do oil change, you do all that stuff? Yeah, I do bumper to bumper. Okay. Except for collision damage. I am not a good body worker. Yeah, I think this is a great, yeah, I think this is, well, I won't tell the ladies you're a bad body worker, but there's, <laughs> well, you're oh, good at that worry. one, right? Now, when it you're good on that one? I can make her purr. Okay, good. All right. Uh, so how do you think the tire manufacturers are doing? Do you think they're hurting for money? Well, there's a lot of change going on with the tires. I mean, and I've noticed this in a huge market problem is the fact that a lot of tires that got put on vehicles, they're put on there for the style. So these people aren't putting on for functionality so all these tire companies are competing with each other to come out with a better style or this new idea of tire when a tire is a tire it needs the to be question i was asking is how do you think they're doing like financially do you think they're doing okay do you think they're having a hard time making ends meet hell at this point everybody's having a hard time making ends meet except for the billionaire yeah so except for like bf goodrich they're probably doing okay um michelin's well, probably i'm looking right yeah, now uh, michelin brought in uh 24 million in revenue last year it's pretty good yeah they're not doing too bad bf goodrich is bringing in 40.6 million a year so these guys are making a fortune in fact uh, some of us uh probably own stocks in those and we're making money off of that but the the person the the mechanic is being told like hey we just don't have the money and that's because yep. probably your store owner, who probably isn't super rich, needs to make a living too. And their margins have been cut so much, and they they have to compete with people like Walmart and Costco, and uh, you know, big O tires, and uh, that that uh, your guys' business is cut, right? Correct. Yeah. So again, like giving a tax, giving a tax break, and, and giving all these other people uh, like like Walmart and uh, Discount Tire 
giving them tax breaks and giving them the ability to monopolize hurts the everyday American. That's like trickle down economics was supposed to do the opposite. By cutting taxes for these people, they were supposed to make it possible for all of us to make more. But the truth is they care about only their shareholders. Well, that's it. And then you start looking at the politician side of it. Their shareholders start becoming the very people that make their laws and policies. I, I look, I agree with that. And I think that there's corruption on both sides. But for me, like as a voter, I'm going to vote for the party who I think ha at least there's a chance that they will go to the billionaires and be like, no more. Like, we're not going to give you guys breaks anymore. This isn't working. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get rid of those tax breaks. And you guys are going to start paying your workers a fair wage. And you're going to and, and you're going to start uh, you're going to stop price gouging. And you, the monopolies, the big monopolies you have, we're going to break those up. There's no chance. There's not a single Republican in office that I uh, for one second would believe or has even advocated doing any of that. But there are Democrats who believe that. Well, there's one area in that aspect, as far as the voting system goes, that I want to point out as fraudulent. Sure. And it's called exposure control. Now, the biggest problem that we have with the voting system isn't the fact that we're trapped in a two-party system. It's the fact that that two-party system has exposure control. Okay? Anybody else trying to run independently or on their own, like me or you, we have a problem with getting our voice out there to as many people as they do because they have the control over exposure. So you're saying they have a monopoly on like an on exactly they have a they monopoly. Have yeah, I agree with that. Us. Yeah, I agree. And that right there is fraudulent. The fact that we have allowed that and we continue to allow that, and we don't stop it before we go into a voting system again, we're allowing ourselves to continue a fraudulent system. Yeah, and who do that, do you think if we do you take think... their four issues first, then we can get proper voting in. Which, yeah, and which party do you think is more likely to get money out of politics? Uh, the independent party. No, which of the two parties? The party that's hardly ever in the I know, but which of the, two, which of the two major parties is what I meant. Uh, out of either one of them, neither. Both of them. I mean, there's a few good Democrats here and there, but most of the Democrats that you hear you think, from... You think AOC would vote for that? Like Nickelodeon and Disney. You think AOC would vote for that to get money out of politics? Who's ALC? AOC, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I love that you don't know that, actually. That makes me happy. <laughs> most <laughs> most people hate her. Most people on the right can't stand her. Uh, you think Bernie I, Sanders would vote for that? Now, I've heard good and bad about Bernie Sanders, and I don't know enough about his history in order, because most of what I can get is either propaganda decides from one side of the field or the other. I can't get actual facts. I just keep getting opinions from people. Well, yeah, I mean, that, I want that's, facts it's about hard. Somebody. I mean, I, I don't. Well, want I mean, here's the facts about Bernie. San the facts about Bernie Sanders is he's pretty transparent. Uh, we know what his finances are. We know where he's gotten his money. We know that he's been in the Senate for, I think, 175 years now, and uh, he's he's not a billionaire. His it's not like his stock portfolio is one of those ones that they're catching all the time that is outperforming the market. Uh, he advocates for fair worker pay. He advocates that we have universal health care. Uh, I saw yesterday he was advocating to break up monopolies. Like he's he's a guy that for as long as he's been in the Senate has been advocating for the protection of the working class. We have uh, even Biden, who I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, he's he's out there working with the unions. The the unions uh, just won their their big the UAW won a, a big uh, battle with the auto manufacturers. Uh, you have one party who's clearly standing up with the workers and one party who consistently stands up for the billionaire class. And so I agree with you that I don't like a two-party system, but when we've got what we've got, I'm just very confused by w why anybody would vote for a Republican at this point, unless you're a billionaire. If you're like a, well, if you're a closet billionaire, great. Good, congratulations for you, and I understand it, it why you're voting for a Republican. On the, on the right side, and I don't know if you've heard of the Q alert thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah, you've heard of that? Yeah. Okay, well, there you go. That's where 95% of their right-wing things coming from, because this guy came in talking about how all this stuff was corrupt and how they're going to stop the 1% and get all this stuff away, and that Trump was the one doing this. Now, I'm a religious person, and following this kind of stuff, you're looking at Q as the false prophet, and Trump's the Antichrist right here, because you got this guy over here supporting this dude, putting this guy up, and he's come up, and everybody's supporting him, acting like he's this great guy, but he's done nothing but screw everybody over. 
Yeah. So, I mean, that seems like a pretty good reason. Like if, if you believe somebody's the antichrist and the guy running against him isn't, uh, wouldn't that be like a good enough reason to vote for the other guy? Well, for me on the voting system, and, and this is where I, I come into it and it's so important. This is where my advocation and my movement comes from is the fact that I refuse to be a part of a system that's fraudulent. If if you want me to vote and be a part of the system, that's great. I want to be, but then we got to fix the core first. What do you think and the that, core that is having the What do you think the core problem is? Are money? For, huh? Are you saying what do you think the core problems are? Obviously we agree on money and politics. I think it, you and I probably well, find agreement yeah, there. But, what else? But the core problem for anybody is exposure. If I have somebody say I've got somebody supporting and you've got this other guy over here that's running his mouth talking all this crap that has no support. This is where we got this rumor mongering coming from. Okay. And if you look at their ads, most of them end up the other guys bashing the other. They're not really talking about their policies or what they're going to do. They're talking about how they'll do better than this guy. I, I generally I, I agree with you like with attack ads but I do see from uh, the the uh, there's a stark difference between the Biden campaign and the Trump campaign Biden is running on his accomplishments he's running on he's running on infrastructure he's running on the chips act he's running on the fact that we recovered better than any of the other uh, G7 countries in the world uh, he, he's running uh, he's running on uh, new jobs uh, he's running on frankly he's running on border security I don't know what the I don't know what Donald Trump is running on other than I hate Democrats. Now that's pretty much all he's running on now because he's already got all these people from this queue in their minds at this point. And as far as a biblical sense goes, it was said then that no matter what you said to these people, they're not going to turn away from it because yeah. they're latched, they're locked, they're, they're set. And that's kind of the problem with rumors on that one. And my thing is exposure. It is just like this right here. You spent a good 45 minutes with the other dude on here, even though he gave exposure. And these um, political affiliated news companies are not given equal exposure to the other party. To like the the like not uh not republican or democrat you're talking about like the third party yeah yeah what, what do you think explain that one to me ranked choice would be like uh your ballot would come to you and it would so for this election uh, depending on what state you're in you may have uh your election is accessible as it is for when i'm diagnosing a problem yeah i agree yeah no Maybe. that's a good lesson learned it was ridiculous. Yeah, I well, that, agree. That's just how screwed up our system is, is how controlled our informational structure is. Yeah, I agree. And we want to talk about freedom of speech, but we actually have none. Because when we go out there and talk about these things, we're all just swept under the rug. Yeah. I mean, there's, what, four people that set themselves on fire and protest in front of the thing, and everybody's looking at them like they're psychotic. I want to know why they thought setting themselves on fire was the best idea on protest. I mean, we don't ask the questions. Instead, we look at these people like, oh, my God, they're going mentally insane. Well, yeah, because we have no way of stopping what's happening to us. And people that have no other options freak out. <laughs> yeah, actually, I agree with that. Yeah, I, I agree, brother. I agree with all that. Let's do this again sometime soon. You're a breath of fresh air. I forgot about you. I'm now I'll, I'll never forget. Yeah, have a good one, man. All right, brother. Be well. See it. All right, Jen, we got the, it's interesting coming on the backup account, like how many people want to debate on the backup account. It's, it's interesting. Jen, I don't know who you've got. Yes, I like that. I liked that guess. That was a nice palate cleanser after Eric. <laughs> uh, I'm looking here. Uh, it looks like uh, we didn't cover this story and uh, Jen, bring up whoever. Uh, Trump got smacked with another gag order yesterday and it turns out that uh, he does not give a flying fuck. And he's back to attacking both the Trump, uh, the judge's daughter and the judge. Uh, truthing out this morning, Judge Mershon, who is suffering from an acute case of Trump derangement syndrome, 
whose daughter represents crooked Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Adam Shifty Schiff, and other radical liberals, has just posted a picture of me behind bars, her obvious goal, and makes it completely impossible for me to get a fair trial. Uh, has now issued another illegal, un-American, unconstitutional order as he continues to try and take away my rights. This guy has lost it. I don't, I don't know what you guys are doing at this point. This is clearly... Uh, like I almost feel bad reading Trump's truths now. I I honestly almost feel bad about that because he's so deranged. Uh, nobody is answering Jen, so I need you guys to answer. I see Abogado, uh, guy. No, guy, I can't do you today. I can't. <laughs> I can't do your bullshit today. We all know you're just a right winger larping as a lefty. Uh, handsome Harry. I see the strawberry and Mr. Orange. If any of you guys are oppositions, you got to let Jen know, or she doesn't know. Yeah, it looks like he violated the, the gag order. That's what it's looking like. Uh, he's demanding the judge recuse himself. Uh, he says, let me get this straight. I love this part. Let me get this straight. The judge's daughter is allowed to post pictures of her dream of putting me in jail. The Manhattan DA is able to say whatever lies about uh, me he wants. He Isn't the Manhattan DA um, Letitia James? Am I wrong about that? The judge can violate our laws and constitution every turn, but I am not allowed to talk about the attacks against me. That's correct. Yeah, they are not on trial. Uh, their speech is protected free speech. That's correct. It is, it is correct. You are not allowed to single somebody out, uh, specifically given your power and your authority and your bully pulpit. Alvin Bragg, sorry. Oh, yeah, Alvin Bragg's the Manhattan DA. I, Tish, Tish James is the AG, right? Thank you for that. Mod took me to lunch. Aw. When? I don't remember when Mod took me to lunch. We got some Mod fans in here. Look, if she's so smart, why'd she run? If she was if she was beating me so bad, why'd she run? If all of you guys are so good at debating, why aren't you here? Why aren't you debating? I come to your platforms. Talk about the connection between Trump and the owner of TikTok posting his bail for appeal. I don't know about that connection, to be honest. Uh, send me stuff on that. I'm not sure. Uh, I see with Bernie. I don't really want to talk about Bernie right now. Um, I'll jump back into the show, and uh, if you're opposition, let let uh, Jen know. Um, how much time do we have? What time is it? It's 11:30. Um, do we want to? Do we? Oh, there we go. Hello. It is Divided Kingdom. Welcome. I like the bucket. Hello, I'm sir. a big I'm fan 22. of bucket hats. Hey. I like bucket. I like bucket hats. I. I oh, thank you, buddy. Yes, yeah. I took this photo in North Dakota. Great place. No way. They don't have cameras in North Dakota. Yeah, they do. They you have to bring got, your own. Uh, anything else, though. Oil rigs, <laughs> a lot of them. <laughs> a lot of that. I actually <laughs> randomly have a lot of friends from North Dakota. They oh, always beautiful to, there. They I love here. it. It's, it's yeah. the only place I've experienced, though, so far. All right. Where are you from originally? I'm from Bristol in England. I've heard of that. I've heard that's yeah. all, across the pond. Okay. Yeah, yes, sir. But I mean, I worked over summer in uh, America. And as you know, North Dakota is a Republican state. They heavily favor Trump. Yeah. Uh, and I've got to say, I quite like the state there in comparison yeah. to uh, where I am. You know, Republican policies over liberal policies in Bristol, England, it's very expensive. And a high tax, a high crime. North Dakota, nothing went on. Everyone was respectful. Low taxes, uh, cheap items. Uh, tasty barbecue. Uh, I got. They got say, good barbecue I've... in North Dakota, huh? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, a place called Pit One Hundred and Five, Williston. And I saw people were very satisfied there, very happy there. I had a lot of fun there. Uh, the only thing America does worse is education and healthcare. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's true. We got better food too. Um, yes. I think, I mean, I, I, I can imagine coming from Bristol, going to North Dakota, thinking like, oh, this is what conservative America is like. But I will say, I don't think North Dakota is like, is a good example of what conservative America is like. If you want to talk about crime rates, we go, yeah. what, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven of the top 10 states uh, with the highest crime rate are run by Republicans. So it's not it's 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 a it's a talking point that they love to throw out there. But it, it, truthfully, crime rate usually has to do with poverty. 
crime rate is almost directly attached to, to poverty. Rarely is it attached to this idea of like Republican versus Democrat. Neither Republicans nor D Democrat are pro-crime. Um, Republicans tend to have more severe, they, they think that uh, punishing people more severely is the solution. And Democrats might say like, hey, let's look at the root cause. Um, let's identify the root cause of this rather than just punishing people and throwing them in jail for their life. That's one thing America does better than England, too, is we put way more of our citizens in prison, uh, more than any country in the world, actually. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. I, yeah, I'm I'm sure yeah, I was joking means. about that. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, no, it's fucking terrible. Um, yeah, it's terrible. No, 100%. Uh, but what, what I want to say is, as an observer, in 2020, I remember places being set on fire, a lot of Democrats calling to defund the police, you know, AOC, Pelosi, and a few others, you know, the big name Dems, uh, they were calling on it. What places uh, in were comparison set on fire? to the latter, which was What Trump places were set on fire? Sorry? What, what cities were set on fire? Many, many cities over George Floyd, who wasn't a very nice cities? man, worthy cities? of burning down buildings. See, this is one of those talking points that I, I get concerned when I hear somebody from another country uh, repeating it because, like, there were zero cities on fire. There were no. places where there were fires. There were places, yeah. like, that turned violent uh, and, th and there were fires. But, I mean, that I, I, what movement didn't have that? And a lot of that violence was caused by counter protesters. It was, it was in uh, the name of BLM and George Floyd because I had it over here too in Bristol. They tore down a statue over a man who died in another country. They smashed up a police station. They set fire to police cars in my own city over this guy who died in your country. And he wasn't worthy of burning anything down. Yeah, what does, that tell you? what does that tell you about people's reaction to uh, how our police treat people? And, and maybe some of, the, uh, some of the problems that we have in this country are, like if you look at people who use uh, the, the green herb, uh, if you're black and you use the green herb, you're you're four times more likely. I think it's four times more likely to go to jail for the same exact thing that you may do if you're white. Yeah, you know, Kamala you Harris loved that, didn't she? When she was the district attorney of California. Well, she, keep in mind she that the loves district keeping them beyond their sentence. Tulsi Gabbard exposed. What's the Kamala role of the wait? Heavily. The role of the district attorney is to uh, prosecute the law as written, right? That's their job. If you have a yeah, problem, if we have a pro if we have a problem with the sentences, if we have a problem with how the laws were written, that's not a problem for uh, Kamala Harris. It's not. In fact, I would have the, the prosecutors should not be using discretion on how they charge. Right? They should not be picking and choosing who gets uh, who gets uh, heavier sentences. The laws are what the laws are, and the prosecutor's job in order to win a case is to bring forth all the charges they possibly can and, and try and get them to stick, that maybe try and get a plea deal. I, I think that that's a pretty unfair attack on uh, Kamala Harris. I think it's worthy, and I think Tulsi Gabbard was right in what she said to her before they called her a Russian asset for simply saying that. What did Tulsi say? Tulsi exposed Kamala what she did, kept people beyond their sentence, kept evidence that would have uh, got someone off of death row. Yeah, but Basically, she didn't write those kept laws. These prisoners beyond their sentence for somewhat slave Wait, 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 hold on. She has no ability to keep a prisoner beyond their sentence. That, that's not true. None of what you're saying is true. Uh, it, it was exposed on a democratic debate stage in 2020. Tulsi saying something and it being exposed are not the same thing. Uh, Tulsi is a fucking liar. Uh, she's two-faced. She has flipped on virtually every position she's ever taken. Um, I, I don't think Tulsi Gabbard is a good source, but just knowing how our system works, uh, Kamala Harris had no ability to keep a prisoner. Uh, in fact, she once the case was sentence, nothing. She can't keep somebody longer than they're supposed to be in jail. She has, no, she has no legal authority to do that. Her job is to bring charges. The jury and the judge on sentencing. That has nothing to do with her. All she can do is make recommendations. It's an un Emails were subpoenaed because he was lying about Dominion Air and then emailing colleagues at Fox admitting that he knew what he was saying wasn't true. And he was saying, like, we have to keep running this election prop this election was stolen bullshit, because if we don't, our audience will leave us. We all know it's bullshit, but if we don't keep running this, the audience will go somewhere else. And so Dominion wins a lawsuit uh, based a lot on the backs of what Tucker Carlson did, and it cost Fox News $800 million. 
if you had an employee that cost you eight hundred million dollars after being exposed yeah, you get rid of on air, would you not yeah. fire that person? Yeah, no. So was okay, that so the, and, and, and yet now, and right wingers still think he's telling them the fucking truth. This is a guy who was exposed for lying, and they're like, ah, oh, he's telling the truth still. And what what did he do? He runs to Russia. Who's he Who's he interviewing? Andrew Tate. He, yeah, he, Andrew Tate's in Romania, mate. I know Andrew Tate's in Romania, but what is Andrew Tate? A uh, far right with like he, he it's the same audience. It's that same pro Russia, anti woman, uh, pro Trump audience. It's the same. I don't thing. think he's too pro Russia, is he? He's just absolutely Andrew Tate. Yeah, right? yes, he is. Where has yes, he, he said is. he's pro Russia? Where has he said that he's pro Russia? Yeah, nobody ever says that they're pro Russia, my friend. That oh, you're assuming, that stupid. You? What's that? You're assuming, yeah, he he consistently. Uh, repeats Russian propaganda. I think there was a story today of him doing it. Let me look. Yeah, they also say he trafficked dar-worded people. Yeah, that's what they say. That's what many, many women say. Yeah. How many, many women, women have accused of you of that? Men say a lot of things, sir. How many women have accused you of that? Uh, zero. Oh, yeah. There, here's Andrew Tate today saying that, like, the attacks in Russia were like a psyop. You know where he got that yeah, story? Yeah, because he's a Muslim. He doesn't want Muslims to You know where he got that bad. story? Islamists are a that's, big problem. That's straight up mus uh, Russian propaganda. That is no, literally Russian he propaganda Islam, he's repeating. Sir. What? He's he's a Muslim. He's not going to say she, yeah, yeah, Muslims yeah. Did well, wrong, look, is he? I don't know what he says he is. I know he says he's a Muslim, but like maybe I'm wrong about Muslims. I have a few friends who are Muslims. I don't think that uh, Andrew Tate represents a good Muslim. Trafficking women, bragging about trafficking women, bragging about keeping them locked up, bragging about uh, sexual exploits with them, uh, bragging about tricking them uh, to come all the way across the world and then uh, essentially keeping them locked up. Yeah, like, I don't know. I'm not an expert on- uh, yeah, I never saw these what brags like anywhere. These what? I never saw any of these brags that you were on about. Well, I'm sure you didn't. I'm no. sure you didn't, but you should look it up. Because it's literally no, I, Andrew Tate. It's literally Andrew Tate. Yeah, go watch the I, I don't maybe you didn't get your finish your degree from Hustlers University, but in Hustlers University in the in the early it, yeah, Andrew Tate told people how to create like a cam business, which is what he did. And he told him like how to, how you withhold money from the women, how you, what you do is you make them fall in love with you and then you bring them over and then you surprise them with like, oh, hey, by the way, like I have all these other girlfriends and they all work on camera. And then they work there and you control the money. The money comes yeah, through, through you. You're doing all the chat and you own these women essentially. Yeah, he bragged about that. It's 50-50, it's 50-50. What the fuck does that mean? What do you mean it's 50 50? It's 50 50 on the business. What's 50? It wasn't 50 50. Uh, the pay reportedly 50 50 legal. It wasn't. It, first of all, it wasn't. But second of all, even if it was 50 50, are you saying as long as you split the profits with somebody, it's okay to lie to women to get them to come across the country and then get them trapped there, knowing if they try and leave at any point that you're going to keep all their money? No, uh, well, see, I, I, I don't know. No, no answer story, that question. Though, answer that question. Well, it's a hypothetical. No, it's, I don't agree Of with course that. it's a hypothetical. I'm asking your opinion on if you think no, that's okay. No, I don't okay. agree with that. No, I don't no agree you don't. With that. Okay, great. Well, that's uh, apparently that's who Andrew Tate is. Uh, it's weird yeah, that you would spend any time defending a guy that you don't know with this many accusations. No, oh, they accuse everyone of everything, so they no, accuse they don't. Joe Biden. Who's, of who's everyone? Let's talk about the accusations then. Who do they accuse of everything? Uh, Trump, they accused Biden of the same stuff in 2020. Okay, let's let's start with Trump. Was Trump, did Trump have his day in court about that? Yeah. And what happened? What did the jury say? Uh, some legal jargon. But you he did it. Guilty you did guilty. it. You are civilly liable for grape. Okay. Who else? Biden. What do we, what's the claim again? First of all, the, the claim against Biden is literally, there's not evidence for it, but what's the, well, there you go. Biden? Well, there you go. It shows bias, sir. It, it doesn't bias. show bias. I said, what's the evidence? You, you, Tell me, what's the evidence? You wholeheartedly believe anything what's you disagree the evidence? with. No, I'm asking you for the with. evidence. Well, hey, I asked for some evidence regarding Tate. I don't like Andrew I just Tate. gave you a bunch of evidence on no, Tate. No, you, you now, gave me stuff that you believe that has no basis. These are videos that I watched of him saying these things. No, I, I think that's a good videos. source. You don't think that's a good source? No, I do because I haven't seen them. Well, that's not my fault that you didn't do any research before you formed this really strong well, opinion. Well, I've looked at it a lot, sir. He's I'm sure you man. have, and I'm sure it's very pro-Andrew Tate. English. 
I'm sure you've seen everything uh, Andrew Tate has to say about this, but I'm sure no, you understand. I don't, I don't like what did the victims much. accuse him of? What did the victims accuse him of? Uh, I don't want to say any words. I'll get you in trouble, but R worded, um, uh, trafficking. Okay, and when you read when you read those accusations and you saw the details that those women provided, what did you think? Uh, I thought when they dropped the charges, the four women dropped the charges about two weeks ago, that it was a big joke. Wait, hold on. Which yeah, they dropped, dropped the charges. The charges? Uh... No, Andrew Tate is still being held. Yeah, he's in Romania, but four women dropped charges against him from the UK. Let's look. Uh... I don't see this. Charges dropped. Oh, I think it's... Andrew, uh, you can't. We can't hear you when you go out there. Yeah, I know. I know. I'll be quick. Wait, none of his char. I'm looking. None of the charges that I see were leaked. I see, or dropped. I see the ones they say were dropped. Were they were just consolidated to relax travel restrictions. They were they were consolidated into a single more severe charge of continuously running a Schmex trafficking business. So rather than having like all the single charges, it's kind of like a RICO, like they ran it. It's basically a RICO case. So it's been all consolidated into running, basically running a sex trafficking business. Oh, is it, I don't think a webcam industry is trafficking. I don't know how we've gone on 200 teams. Well, nobody's accusing a webcam industries as trafficking. What they're saying is to accommodate his webcam business he was trafficking women I mean, that doesn't make any sense to no me. i how does that not make sense because if you're wealthy have lots of money reportedly why would you want to traffic people because they don't want to stay there and you need their money who doesn't want to stay away if you're uh, these if women you're they've all said that many sorry, of these women have come out and said they didn't want to stay there oh so they say that's trafficking well, yeah, I, if, I don't agree with that. Yeah, if you bring, by the way, just so you know, if you bring, and I don't know what the rules are on cams in Romania. I don't even know if that's a legal business there. Um, I'd have to look into that. But if you lie to somebody, uh, if you bring them over under false pretenses, that's trafficking. That is like textbook trafficking, dude. Okay. Okay. Well, see, but why, see but the problem I have, with, the problem I have with what you... The problem I have with what you're saying is like, one, you're defending Andrew Tate. You don't know anything about the charges at all. And two, like when I bring up the charges, you're like, I don't know what's illegal about a cam business. Like you, you guys gloss over this stuff. You're so desperate for these men to, to be innocent. Ask yourself this. Why, why are there so many legitimate charges? And I mean like court cases against conservative men, like powerful conservative men get court cases all the time against them. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I don't know. Why does Hunter Biden not get in trouble? Hunter Biden didn't wasn't accused of trafficking and he is in trouble. Well, his laptop had a lot of seedy stuff on it. Yeah, you can to do with I don't, Ukraine I don't know, I don't know if you know I don't know that? if you know this, but uh you're allowed to have sex and you're allowed to record it if you want. Yeah, what well, you're allowed you're allowed to be around on And you're allowed to put it on your clothes. laptop. And the, the crime there is actually all the people who got access to his laptop. Those are the actual criminals, by the way. Not the person who money laundered from Ukraine or anything. Well, he's like being investigated for that, but yeah, a yeah. nice, nice change. But again, I'm talking about sex crimes, and I, I asked you about uh, Republicans. We got Donald no, Trump. Well, Donald Trump's in trouble. in trouble. We got Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate's in trouble. We got Matt Gates. Matt Gates is now being uh, same thing trafficking. You have uh, your guy from over uh, from your country. Uh, what's his Andrew? What's his name? What? Prince Andrew. We, well, Prince Andrew, yeah, but I was thinking of uh, what's the guy with the long hair, the actor? Um, uh, Russell Brand. Yeah, that's Russell Brand. Politics. Yeah, weird, weird that. how weird how as soon as those chart, as soon as that investigation started, Russell Brand became a right winger. I wonder why. It's almost like right wingers like you offer protection for gross people. I don't offer protection to anyone. Sure you are. You you're you're up here literally defending Andrew Tate, my friend. Oh, I'm having a discussion. And, and remember, you brought him up. I didn't bring him up. It's not like I said, Andrew Tate is scum. Here's all that's, and you're just saying like, well, let me tell you what reality is. You brought up Andrew Tate, not me. Okay. 
Yeah. Why do you defend? Like, how come all these people you're forced to defend have like legitimate charges against them? <laughs> I just have. An you ever opinion. thought about that? I have an opinion. I know. Have you ever thought about that though? Why well, so many people in Prince your Andrew. movement keep getting caught abusing women? I don't condone Prince Andrew. I know. I'm I, the question I'm asking is: Have you ever thought about why so many people on your side keep getting caught abusing women? Well, I don't know. There's a couple, you know, P. Diddy, they're more on the left side, the blue I, side. P. Uh, Diddy is not even, P. Diddy is not even, boys. yeah, P. Diddy is not even remotely political. I think you're saying he's left because you think you're all black California. people are on the left. California. What about California? California, black California, P. Artists, so you mentioned P. Diddy. So you so. mentioned P. Diddy, who is not uh, at all political. And then you said the whole state <laughs> of California. Which, yeah. what do you mean by that? Uh, he's not Republican, so you know. Who's not know. Republican? Huh? Who's not Republican? The P. Diddy, the person we're having he's, a conversation Yeah, he's not, about. he's not even remotely political. And you'll notice that nobody on the left is defending him. <laughs> no, no, I don't expect you to. Oh, you, you guys, well, you guys defend violence. Trump and you guys defend Andrew Tate and you guys defend Russell Brand. But when it happens, even though, like, Diddy isn't somebody that's on our side. Like nobody's even defending that. There's a guy Russell named Barney. Brand was there's neighbor. a guy He's named a there's a guy man. there's a guy named Barney Frank, uh, who was simply accused of sexual harassment. The charges I think actually were dropped. I don't even think he settled. And he was a senator at the time, and he left. He stepped down because he said, "Hey, look, even though I deny these charges, I don't think it's appropriate for somebody like myself in the Senate." to have this hanging over my head. There's work to be done here, so I'm gonna step down. And and he was, there was a lot of people on the left saying like, yeah, you gotta step down. Like when stuff comes out like this on the left, we immediately uh, abandon that person. We are not going to be party. But on the right, it's like every time somebody gets charged with something, they become more popular. Have you asked yourself why you think that is? Like Donald Trump has 27 women who have accused him of sexual misconduct, 27. Yeah. And, it meant, and most of those came before he was president, by the way. Yeah. You never think about that? You never think about why are there so many people on our side abusing women? Well, you, well hey, you, you have Biden as your nominee. Who did Biden When you abuse? pick a better person, who did he abuse? People, who did Biden abuse? Groping people. Who did he abuse? He groped people on camera, no, including he didn't. children. No, he didn't. And he sniffed their hair. It's very strange. I sniff my daughter's hair all the time. Oh, sir. Come on now. That'd be strange. You have kids? No, I'm 22, mate. Okay, well, if you ever have a kid and you ever are blessed to have a daughter who you will love more than anything in this world, and she and she climbs on you and she hugs you, you're gonna smell your hair because your kid has like a a, a scent. Like kids, kids all smell like it smells like your kid. That's a normal yeah, thing. Kid I, I when I was when I was married, I I smelled my wife. I knew what she smelled. I'd smell her hair. She put a great product in her hair. It smelled wonderful. <laughs> You, listen to listen to you <laughs> listen to you reach you're defending a guy who's credibly accused of actually abusing women and your defense is joe biden sniffed somebody's hair as, as if those things are even remotely Can pick a better guy to compare to i i'm not better voting guy either way so to? i'm comparing him to trump really trump has 27 time. accusations against him he has one civil judgment against him joe biden has nothing but a bunch of like QAnon saying like Oh, well, this is evidence of, of a crime because Joe Biden loves children. QAnon right. think that, fuck, yeah. uh, sorry, think that JFK Jr. is coming back. I, I understand, but QAnon's also responsible for all these uh, Biden P3DO. Uh, no, there's, there's video Zero, evidence. How many people have ever accused Joe Biden of sexual misconduct? Uh, I know for a fact there were one or two in the 2020 election that got brushed under one. the rug. There's one. Okay. And she is currently residing in what country? I can tell you. I don't know. Russia. Oh, it's Russia, Russia. Okay. And she has never provided any evidence. Uh, she has never oh, brought, yes. she, she's never brought charges against him. If she were to bring charges and there was some evidence, I would immediately flip on Biden. Immediately. Yeah. That's the difference yeah, between that. me and you. When somebody brings charges against somebody you like, you like them more. If somebody brought charges against Biden <laughs> and there was any sort of credible evidence at all, I'd immediately flip on him. Immediately. Yeah, da, what? Da. What? Russia, you're obsessed. Oh, oh, you're, you're one of those. 
Oh, huh? fuck off, man. This whole time you're just like a, a Russian apologist pretending yeah, that like, you yeah. know about... Ruski, oh, Ruski. Shocker. Shocker. <laughs> yeah, you... Yeah, well, Russia is uh, is full of dumb dicks who think Vladimir Putin's smart and uh, tell Vlad. <laughs> they don't have a choice. I know they don't, but you do. Have seem a choice, to. If you live in North Dakota, wait, did Vlad send you to North Dakota? Da, 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 How'd you da, wind da, up in North Dakota? Number one, lots of vodka. <laughs> My word. Hilarious. I don't, I, are you, all right, it's been a nice conversation. I gotta get on with something. Yeah, I'm sure. Also love to you. Good I luck with your uh, Hustlers U homework. I hope you uh, oh, get complete fucked. your degree here get soon. Fucked. Yeah, see ya. You silly that goose. was a good. You know that was a good line. That was a good line. Because <laughs> you know I it. don't even follow it. I know, but <laughs> I ne but it was a good line, or you wouldn't have told me to get fucked. Fair of you to fair play for you to tell me to get fucked. But yeah. it's a good line. Uh, yeah, be well. Those with that, you comrade. Yeah, those with I don't know what that means, but roll damn Russia. I guess I don't know. Roll damn Russia. What are we at? Uh, 1150. How's the box? Oh, box is empty. Oh, shit. All right. What do we... Yeah, I guess. He said goodbye in, in Russia. Thank you. Das, das Vandana. That means goodbye. Oh, he's just being sweet to me. That's beautiful. All right. Um, where do we want to go with this? Was there anything I added? Oh yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to, whoever we were talking about uh, when we were talking to Eric about uh, the green energy, I just want to point out that Mike Johnson uh, is getting absolutely railed by his own party. Uh, Marge has, has uh, filed, whatever you filed, a, a motion to vacate this, the speakership. Uh, they're very mad at him because he agreed to a spending bill. So what did he do out? Uh, or what did he do now? He put out a tweet this morning. He said, President Biden's energy policies are bad for our economy, bad for America, and bad for our allies. I don't know what that means. Uh, House Republicans are determined to protect American jobs and unleash American energy dominance once again. That's why the House has passed six bills last week to combat Biden's anti-energy agenda. I just want you to read. I want you to hear the names of these bills that they passed that definitely will never go into law and are definitely written by the oil companies, uh, HR 1023, cutting green corruption and taxes act, HR 1121, protecting American energy production act. So, uh, we're going to, we're going to cut taxes. Uh, we're going to, uh, cut taxes on oil and we 